Hello, everybody. I hope everybody's having an amazing Sunday. Uh, I had a dinner with my family. We went to a seafood restaurant. What a disaster that turned out to be. It was supposed to be an hour. I was supposed to be back an hour ago, but it took like extra hour to make the food. So got totally delayed, totally delayed. And turns out seafood overpriced and uh, there's not much of it. Very disappointing. Ooh, and I've got Jeropal in the back room. Hello, Jeropal. How's it going? Yeah, what's up? What's up? Whoa, hey, hey, hey. How, How you was your Sunday? How was your Sunday? Um, well, I w I'm disappointed in seafood. What can oh, I say? Really? Yeah. Oh, really? Really? What, what? And what, expensive. what happened? What happened? Well, it took it took uh, an hour to cook it. An hour, okay. Yeah. It was twice the price of steak. And there was not enough of it, and it was half the half the amount that if I got the steak. Why? Why? Why is it uh, twice the price? What happened to it? Are the prices no. right for for seafood? And you know, uh, although I mean, I'm on, I'm on the diet. I'm trying to lose weight, so it was perfect for me. But mm -hmm. uh, man, if I pay, if we pay so much money, I I want to be stuffed like a pig. You know what I mean? Uh, so, so how how much how much did you pay at all? Well, for well, the family, it was like three hundred dollars. It was four of us. Yeah. Three hundred dollars. That's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. It's too much, and I'm I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Good thing I had Chipotle early in the day. Otherwise, I would have been. I would not be able to function. Did Just cognitive. Hey, That's Michael. What I had for lunch. Hey, Jero. <laughs> for dinner. Sorry, for dinner. For dinner. For dinner. Man, so, uh, Tim, how are you enjoying your 36 mil Explorer One? Oh my God, you, it, it's the best thing ever. So what's what's the feeling uh, after having a uh, 42 millimeters uh, now wearing a 36? You know, it, it's a little bit. Uh, there's a little bit of shock at first. Like you feel like, ooh, it's a little bit small after the 42 Explorer Two, right? But when I'm wearing Explorer 2 to do some physical activity, I can really feel it on my wrist. It's like it's digging into my wrist. And so it's kind of... Uh, at the end of the day, I'm kind of wore out wearing the 42. I love it. I love... because And also, you know, I like the feeling of the heft of the 42 because I know what I paid for. With uh, the Explorer 1, I get zero... Of that heft, I, I feels like I'm not wearing a watch at all. Let me just really quickly see what's going on here, because we have fellow riser at Marco. I would come on, but knowing now about how Tim operates, I will politely decline. Ooh, what a snowflake! Snowflake alert, everybody! Snowflake alert, Marco. What is this? I gotta tell you, I gotta, 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 gotta tell you, man. Um, yeah, I mean, listen, it's his choice, you know what I mean. But uh, hey. fellow I, riser, you were schooling Tim. You gotta take him to school again. I know, and what does he have to be afraid of? I mean, he completely devastated me in that debate, right? Hey, Tim is harmless, guys. Tim is harmless. Yeah, and he is politely, and no, this is what I, uh, what I find very disrespectful. I actually, I find this. Very disrespectful because he says, I'll politely decline. You know, even though, Tim, you're, it's so difficult, yeah. I will grin and bear it and come on the show. It's hard, though. It's yeah. really, really hard. It's yeah. hard. Look at this. Joke. That's my 36 mil. There you go. Right, there's the 36. It's Beautiful. A, it's a, it's a, yeah, exactly. Hey, TS, just give me a couple of minutes. Make sure you have your headphones in. Headphones, headphones. Uh, Oh, and look at that. non g Milgout. Yeah, and that's another one with the oh. V. Whoa, <laughs> you're you. a Milgaus collector. Uh, I not intended to be, but um, actually it happened. I had a call, a call from ID, and he offered me this uh, 
um, with Black Dell with GV, I, I couldn't resist. I said yes, of course. And mm. they just for any occasion. So I actually I've, I've got three Rolex with a black dial, and um, I don't like it that much. <laughs> so you got but you got all of green. these. This is, this is actually green. I pre um, perceive this as a green, not not as a black, because in the sun it's um, actually yeah. green. Oh, the, the actually thirty six mil is king. I, I love thirty six. Thirty six. I mean, that's all you need to tell the time, right? Like I, I, almost, I have the feeling. Like I understand the the why Submariner is bigger, right? Because if you're underwater, you need to have a more vis a watch with a bigger visibility. But when you're just wearing a watch just to tell the time, like Milgauss, right? I understand why it's bigger. It's got that Faraday cage, right? That special yes, anti magnetic. Yes, yes. I get it. Okay. Now the day just though, you know, there's the day just thirty six. But then what's the day just forty one for? Well, that's just to show that you're wearing a Rolex, everybody. Rolex. <laughs> <laughs> There's no other reason besides that. If you, if you had to choose the one and done watch, one and done, I would go for Dejas. It's not a Submarina. It's not. It's it's just Dejas because it's dressy and it's sporty at the same time. Uh, white gold bezel. Uh, you can you, you can go flashy, uh, mm -hmm. but it also can uh, you can you can also wear with a suit and um, be under the radar. Uh, Milgauss, I'm missing the date, but it's all um, white and wear watch. Milgauss, definitely Milgauss. But my mm. favorite is the uh, day date, day date 36. It's day -day amazing. 36. Day it's amazing. Wow. So I look. Like, so I, 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 at all. Do you yeah. see the kind of a difference between 40 mil and 36 mil? It's not like oh wow. No, no, it's not a big difference. Yeah, you know what? Huh? Yeah, they don't. Interesting. Yeah, not as much difference as I thought. Right? Yeah. And you know, the day date is still like when they made it, it's 40, right? So it's not 41. The the, the larger day date 40 is 40. That's a stupid argument. 36 and 41, they just are both flashy style watches. Yeah, I gotta tell you, I agree with you. No, no, they're both flashy in style, but I feel like the 41. Okay, what the yeah. hell? There we go. I crashed. Uh, one second. Now is the sh the stream is on, right? The nothing, everything is okay, right? Yep. I hey, think it's back now. Hey there. Okay, okay. Hear me, so, okay? That guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something happened. Uh, just one second. TS, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Uh, I guess it's the is the Russian hackers. The Russian hackers. I thought it was our Canadian internet failing us. Yeah. Too much maple syrup in the lines. Uh, okay, I, I needed to clean some memory. Okay, here we go. Hey, welcome back, Marco. Yeah, we're good. Hello, we're live. JJ41 <laughs> show off. How's it going? <laughs> That's Tim, you awesome. Make some of the craziest arguments I've ever heard. <laughs> I think this is your narrative. Wait, hold on, hold on. You're a little bit low. You're a little bit low. JJ, say how you really feel, please. Say how you really feel. I tell you, I put it all out there on the table, man. I don't have no, no regrets, as they say. <laughs> no regrets. <laughs> hey, look, I, no, no. What I'll say this is like a fluted bezel, right? Fluted bezel. That's the the whole the only purpose of it is the flashiness, right? Right. But you you go to a date just uh, without a fluted bezel. Here, like mine. Uh, yeah, That's like smooth. you. Yeah. The forty one right. versus thirty six. Um, they're very they're very close. Yeah, that's a totally different argument. Saying that a fluted bezel is more showy, I agree with. But saying yeah. people buy a 41 as opposed to a 36 to show off is pretty 
pretty I, hard I, argument. I don't, I, I don't no, no, no. I'm saying like to tell the time, 36 is all you need. What if you what if you got bad eyesight? Okay, that's that's a great argument. I, but what, I don't know what how if you much. Have an wrist? It's it, it it that might be true. That might be true actually. So no, no, I agree with you with that with the failing eyesight. You, oh, the bigger bigger dial is definitely more legible. But looking at the thirty six, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I I it's perfectly legible. So I'm just, all I'm pointing out is that this argument didn't come up until you received the 36 mil watch. No, because I didn't know about it. That that <laughs> it, that it was so legible. That's can the I, thing. I I learned something question? new. I learned something new, and it just blew my mind. I didn't realize it. Can Can I ask you a question? Because my internet cut out. Did you like the comment that I made that 36 millimeter are for cheapos and chicken wrists? Yeah, I like it. I like it. It's great. <laughs> Yeah. Just kidding, just kidding. I was only <laughs> doing I was only said that to cause a little controversy, but then nice. my internet went out, so I don't know if anyone saw that. So is yeah. so that, you know that's an interesting question though, you even though you're joking. The reasons to get a bigger dial. Is it just because you have bigger wrists? Or is it just because a man like size watch? That's why it's just a man size watch. <laughs> There's only one. I just honestly uh, no, Ari, in all seriousness, I'd like to answer that for real. Um I passed up on the date just back in two thousand. When mm -hmm. I got my first luxury watch because I thought it was too small. And I just, it's not my particular style. It, it looks, I don't like the way it looks on me. Um, I much more prefer the 41. I just think if, I'm not into like a vintage style watch to begin with. And I just gotcha. feel like it's more modern. I don't think there's actually anything wrong with it. I was just breaking Tim's shops. I actually think the 36 Explorer looks good on his wrist. And we have the same size wrist, but different body types. For me, it just feels a little small for me, but um, I don't think like my my whole point was I don't think someone says no. I really want to show off this Rolex. I'm going to get the 41 size as opposed to the 36. I think it's just more preference of if you like a more modern look over a, a more um, you know traditional size. Right, right, right. But but what is like why was the traditional size the 36? Was it was it because that was the most that you needed to tell the time or like? Um, I don't know. That's a good question. I mean, but then again, think about it. Before 36, watches were 34, you know? And yeah. Why bump it up to 36? Uh, actually, you know why I think they bumped it up to 36? <laughs> because people get bigger over time. Look at the time. No, no. Time. Actually, I think it's because, like, people used you didn't used to live so long. So right. the eyesight wouldn't fail as badly as it fails now. <laughs> like, because people live longer, we can actually get to the age where our sight, eyesight is completely fiked. And we look at the at the watch and like, oh, what the hell? Mm -hmm. Forty one. <laughs> Paul <laughs> Celestius for uh, five dollars super chat. Forty one compensate for small. All right, I'd like to I'd like to address that for a second, as that's a very sensitive topic right now. Yes, yes, um, yes. Ari is Hebrew for tripod. Just saying. <laughs> Listen, I identify as a man with a large member. <laughs> <laughs> gotta say, I'm my, I'm average, not not yeah. well, maybe below average. Tim, are you with I have more than two arms, 41 but that's why I have an Asian wife, so you don't need to have a uh, really big one. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> Tim said it, Tim said it, no one else. There, there goes the monetization tonight. I guess that's well, it has nothing to well, do with monetization, we're still innuendo, right? But uh, no, nice. I mean, listen, I think, um, I think people, I mean. It's, it's pretty much it's, it is a fact that people have gotten larger over time, you know, not only weight, but height wise, too. I mean, the average height 100, you know, 50 years ago was smaller than it is now. So people are just growing bigger. I think it's just a natural progression. Mm. That's part of it, too, for sure. Yes. But hey, I guys, mean, 36 mil is not like super small. If you're it's not. If, yeah. All right. If you're I'm a sorry. thin guy and like, you know, I think you, it's it's a fine watch, you know, um. You know, especially if you're a shorter, thin guy. I mean, like like Drew, uh, it, it, it wears really nice on Drew. I mean, I think if you get bigger than Drew, then it starts to get a little too small for you. But, I mean, it, 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 it depends really on what's the style. Because think about it. Tony Soprano wore a 36-millimeter day date. I mean, I don't know if you've ever seen James Gandolfini in real life, but I've met him a couple of times, you know, working in Manhattan. And the guy's mo a monstrous guy. Well, he's dead now, but... The guy was a monstrous guy. He was a big, tall guy. Like he was, he was mm. no small person by any means. You know what I mean? 
And, um, you know, I mean, if he could wear it, anyone could wear it. I think Archie's made that point a couple of times. That's exactly, exactly. Like, 36 is... Well, I'm finding out that 36 is so legible. And also the 369, that contributes to legibility so much. Because just with the glance, you can easily tell which quarter of a day you're in. It, you, you don't realize how helpful that is, especially like with the quick glance uh, that just something blew my mind. I was walking uh, home from work and I just kind of glanced at it really quick and I was like, oh, I get the 369 now. But let me just really quickly bring in a guest to the show, Mr. Mm. T.S. He's been sitting very patiently in the back room. Uh, let's see if his audio is working. So here we go. Hello, TS. How's it going? Hello. Can everyone hear me? Hey. Oh, that's perfect. We can hear you perfectly clear. Uh, it's a pleasure to be on here. I've been watching the show for a few months now. Uh, so just uh, saying hello. And um, yeah, I just um, like to share my experience. Uh, yesterday, I went watch shopping. I'm just window shopping. And uh, okay. I actually saw the watch that you guys were talking about early on on the Archie show, the uh, the, the white bird. birch. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, so all, the, all, all this talk about it being on a wait list, I'm not really sure how true that is. And this was in Harrods, actually. Um, okay. So it's not like a small town AD or anything. Yeah, yeah. that's just marketing, that there's a wait list. That's just marketing. That You yeah, know who's uh, saying that they, there's a wait list? That's the ADs are posting those. <laughs> building up the hype, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Tim, you got to start a rumor that there's a wait list to get on your show if you want to. Yeah. There's a, there's Everyone, a six-month yeah. wait list if you want to be a guest on the Tim Wright show. Hey, that, that, <laughs> yeah, you have to first. You have to contact my secretary, uh, Mark over there. Yeah. He'll he's the one secretary? managing. Secretary, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and, and Tim, is I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Executive assistant, executive assistant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Executive assistant. The cast and crew. Brands. I'm casting. Cast and crew. On other shows first, you know. Just really quickly, guys. Will Lito one two one one with a five dollar super chat? I I one hundred percent prefer the thirty six millimeter. I have a seven inchish, almost eight inch wrist. Wow! But I still would love to collect any Rolex models. Wow! Like, just, yes. Just to be clear, I mean. I even have like a Le Grand Classique. Again, I have yeah. it for sentimental reasons. This mm. is like a 34 or 36 maybe dial, mm. and it, it fits okay. It's a little small, but it's it, it's wearable, and I do wear it. So it's not yeah. like I'm I'm anti anything less than 40. And it's got those thin hands, so it's not yes. as legible as a, a 36 Rolex. Correct. Correct. Yes. Oh, and Paul Celestius with a $5 Super Chat. Tim, only one person per... <laughs> I was old. Yeah, those birches, you can't they, they're guys, there is not just a wait list. They they check that you don't buy more than one per household. You can't have more than one birch. You know? It's uh they, those, those things are selling like hotcakes. Let's let our friend or let's let uh TS talk about mm -hmm. his uh his story because he had a story to tell us, didn't you? Yes. A bike. Uh, just really quickly, are you you here to debate politics with me, or you took watches? No, no politics. <laughs> um, no politics. Uh, let's keep no no politics today. Um, so my story, as in how I got into the watches and things like that, or yeah, the whole story. We need the whole spiel. And you said you did something yesterday, right? Like a watch buying story. Yeah. So, so no, yeah. I didn't buy any watches yesterday. I just went to a window shop basically. But gotcha. I... so, so does it look better in person, or does it look worse in person than in pictures? So I I don't know. It was the lighting, but the dial looked more silvery gray in person. It looked quite. It looks quite white in pictures. Yes, right. but it's more like silvery gray in, in real life. Oh, it's very so dark. what you're saying is very ugly. And no, you should uh, avoid it. <laughs> well, the, I mean, I wouldn't buy it for eight, eight and a half grand, like in pounds. It's crazy money for a Grand Seiko. And the thing that let me down was actually the bracelet. I mean. It still has a, somewhere to some way to go to catch up with Rolex bracelets, mm, so cool. I wouldn't buy it. Yeah, um, but uh, so what do I my watch journey? So I mean, ever since I was little, my dad collects uh, watches, mainly Rolex. But me myself, I got into watches in about 2014, also at a time when I started watching Archie Archie luxury videos, like all of wow. us here. How old are yeah. you right now? 
I'm tw I'm turning 25 this year. Wow, wow. a yeah. long time. Same age as my brother, born in '96, right? Yep, yep, '96, brilliant. Yeah, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, so it's been I've been quite into watches for about six, seven years now, and yeah, you know, once you get in, you never get out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, I also got, managed to try on the um, the, the new Speedy, so mm. the, the 3861, because I was really curious to see how it, the, whole see it, the, 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 the whole issue with the, the bracelet being uh -huh. a bit too tight, uh, too sharp or anything. Yes. yes, um, yes. I felt it was completely okay. And maybe it's like a batch issue with, where some watches are sharp and sharp, some others, but to me, it felt completely all right. To be Did you feel there's some texture to the metal that uh omega used it's just the tip something. of the lugs it's the tip of the lug like it's not the case the, that's the thing like people kept saying it's the case it's not it's really the tip of the lugs uh mm. on each side the four corners that's where it's really sharp hey Captain. yeah mm, i was focusing on the bracelet so i didn't really feel the tip of the lugs maybe that's the issue but i don't know mm. but yeah what did you think about the bracelet you find it a bit small Bruce. um I guess it wasn't sized properly to my wrist. So I can't really judge how balanced it'll be on the wrist, but to me, it mm -hmm. felt really comfortable. Like, I guess it's, the links are small, so it wraps oh, around the wrist very nicely. What's your wrist size? Uh, I think it's about six and three quarters. Six and three quarters. Um, uh, okay. Wrist watch check uh, dates up. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. So, nice. The same as me. The 40, right? Yeah, the yeah, 40. 40, yeah. So Where I've been wearing this about, for about uh, five years now. Six, six years. By the way, I'm wearing a date sub nice. because I had dinner with the family and I'm trying to sell this watch to my brother. <laughs> so you can get the servant, right? Get the servant. <laughs> <Get definitely. laughs> can... See, so guys, Tim acts stupid, but he's not that dumb, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Look, I, I don't want to get rid of it. If I can keep it in the family, that's the only excuse that I would, to myself, that I can make to, to get the sermon. I would love to get a sermon, right. but uh, I'm fine with this. Yeah, we're not made of millions. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. There's no, like, yeah, exactly, exactly. I, I still have to pay for some bunch of stuff that, I don't know, I'm going to be left kind of broke, brokeish. Brokeish, uh, brokeish. Yeah, I don't like that. Cause, cause hiking, that's gonna be so expensive. I need to, I need to save money. So, TS, uh, what do you got in the collection? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Um, so, so, I, I mean, basically, every, this watch I have is a. I mean, I'm still in university. I'm graduating next month. Oh, um, so, I've uh, this watch here was, you know, very gracefully given to me by my father when I got wow. into university. So what? It means, wow. it means a lot to me. That's what um, my mother should do to my brother. Yeah. He's going to Cornell. Why? He deserves my sub. That what? If she's watching this show, look, look, look. You see this? That's so cool. <laughs> but I'm contemplating getting another watch for my graduation, but I'm not really sure which watch Ooh. yet. Yeah. Very nice. Something you get Bruce Wayne. Do you have two chains by any chance? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I have one chain, but probably need to get Ooh, another chain and then get the Bruce Wayne. That's yeah. right. That's right. You need to. Um, yeah, but may yeah, maybe considering the Speedy because it's uh, like a more attainable price point and it's you know a bit more low key. Um, but Marco, I I tried on a watch yesterday um, that you'll definitely approve of, and out Ooh. of my price range for sure. But look at that! Oh, seven oh nine seven. Look at that! Oh my god! It was god. amazing. It was amazing. Yeah, it was wow. an incredible. Yeah, but the funny thing is, the guy who the AD um, who showed me the watch, their sales assistant, was wearing a Pepsi. Oh Jesus! Christ. So I was like, mm, I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> a guy wearing a Pepsi selling a Breguet. Yeah, it's like was it a vintage like Pepsi? That. I know it was a modern one, like the one that you have. Oh, yeah. is that it's even a, like? Yes. Is that even I love legal? That watch. <laughs> yes, I love Lord. that watch. Do not buy it new. Don't buy that know, 709 new. You gotta be crazy. On, on Chrono, it goes like 50% of its retail price. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> you gotta be crazy. Uh, wow. William Money says, I wonder if cases used by Omega really come from China. I hope not. Of course they are. Of course they are. The braces as well. There's just really? no reason for them not to do it. It's just more cost effective to make them. So shine. when when they're talking about Swiss made, it's purely talking about the movement. 
that's all that they're talking about. Well, well, to put according to Swiss law, mm -hmm. you can put uh, Swiss made mm -hmm. if sixty percent or more of the value of value of the watch is made in Switzerland. Which value so how, is very easy to, to right. determine, right? The movement, you skew, would say, right? that's the most skew. valuable part. Right. right. That's the most expensive part. So you that's made in Switzerland. And everything else, you can make it in China. Whatever, wherever. China. No, I'm just kidding. It's not made in China, guys. Two chain JJ Wayne in the <laughs> house, everybody. <laughs> You guys can have a little fun with your names here. Hello, Captain. Welcome. I didn't see you again. Welcome. Hey. <clears throat> Thanks, Captain, you're a little bit quiet. Uh, well, you have I was any just on five minutes ago. You weren't here yet. Captain, what's surprise, the ice surprise. cream? What's the ice cream tonight? Well, you know, we're having this competition. Not, a, I don't know if it's a competition. It's a friendly weight loss thing, right? So we're all mm -hmm. jumping so Discord. on the bandwagon. So don't don't go to the food category because mm. you'll you'll break the diet. <laughs> So uh, I am having um, some Ben and Jerry's. Ooh, <laughs> nice. How's this? How's this gonna do for the? Uh, am, liberal, I gonna, am I gonna lose? That's a liberal ice cream, Captain. Uh, my right liberal, there. my liberal colors are coming Captain, out. Come on, what the hell, man? I may become. <laughs> Wait, what flavor? What flavor is that? You. Mint, mint chocolate cookie. Wow. Mm. I like yeah. the second part, not the first part. I hate mint ice cream. <laughs> Mint I've gotten into cream. the mint because I love chocolate. I'm a chocolate. The really awesome. cool thing um, about the mint ice cream is you don't have to brush your teeth afterwards before going to sleep. Yeah, I agree. You're, it's beautiful. You're, it's like you're, minty fresh. You're, your dentist might have a few words about that. But, right. uh, if sure. they put fluoride oh, in it. Unless, is that why I have fluoride? all these teeth the, problems? That's right. You With your Vacheron wearing dentist? Yes. Are you she against told me it was okay. Dentist? She said, why not? Why don't just eat the mint chocolate before going to sleep it's just as good but they said the sugar on the mint chocolate won't rot your teeth at night yeah the mint compensates for the sugar unbelievable so ts uh yes, now right. you have uh you got the sub as a gift right now what do you have any other watches currently um, currently well, nothing really. I mean, this this is the only one that really belongs to me. My dad has like quite a few pieces that I get to play around with when I'm Ooh. when I'm home. So I'm I'm studying in the UK, but I'm I'm actually from Malaysia. Ah. So whenever I go back to Malaysia, then I just like pull some stuff out of his bank safe and just play around with this. Oh, yes. Have you ever just... heard of a Malaysian brand? It's called Ming. Uh, Ming. <laughs> And they're releasing I had to throw a brand new mink. I, had to throw I was wondering how long it was going to take you. I was like, oh, he's going to bring it up, isn't he? <laughs> Instant. Instantly. I still don't know how I feel about Ming. But... Are you going to join us on Mr. Two's place for the release date? Uh, is it the, the new one with the uh, the honeycomb dial? Or or the black one? Oh, I, I, when When is it released? Well, it's going to be on the 21st. Okay. May 21st. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Are you in the Discord? Uh, no, I, I, I don't have Discord. Unfortunately. Okay, it's cool. It's cool. Uh, just, just shoot me an email. I'll, I'll send you the invite to my Discord. Okay. Uh, because we're gonna be doing all the updates. You know, everybody, when we're going live, it's gonna be everything is gonna be in the Mister Two's place. That's where we talk about the Ming, the Mings. Tim, you want the Honey Ming, the Honey Ming? You know what? The in the picture. I want the Honey Ming. Absolutely. Sorry. Yeah, see my see my new name. <laughs> Be saying one thing. Um, so, <laughs> so speaking of hyped up shitters, um, I actually yeah. <laughs> the, uh, Ooh. I actually those are fighting words. Fighting words. I'm actually considering uh, trying to get for the uh, the Corona Tokyo. They're releasing a new um, the salmon dial one. I think this Friday. I think. Oh yes, yes, yes. So I, I might try to get that one instead of the. Uh, it's Ming. actually cheaper. It's cheaper. The yeah. Corona is cheaper. I would also try uh, to to get one, but uh, is that the Birkin pink? The Birkin pink dial. Yes, the Sam. The Sam. Oh, I don't like that. It's I don't like that pink. watch at all. I don't like that watch at all. Now, the, it's, actually, it's nice. It's the color, the, the color is not nice. I think it's photographed it very badly. I think it actually got photographed very badly. It looks more pink than it yeah. probably is. Like the shape and the proportions are good. I don't have an issue with that, but just the color just completely throws it off for me. Wow, look at that. 
I, I think I think they they. Oh, maybe they didn't. I don't know. It wow. looks great though. That's By the way, this is so design. funny. Uh, D Steinfeld says, "I thought Tim's wife was Ming." <laughs> it's Sang Ming, <laughs> but yeah, it's very Sang close. Ming. It's Sang Ming. Yeah, it's Sang Ming. Sang Ming. Sang Ming. Say it, Tim. Sang Ming. Sang Ming. Sang me. No, when you say your Sang wife's name, Sang Ming. <sighs> wow. Especially, look at the photograph that he was. He he got a, oh, a shirt no. to perfectly match Ooh. the dial. Yeah, that's so cool, man. Because you know what I think? Why I actually like this watch is because I think this will patina perfectly. Like the sunlight is going to wreck. It's going to wreck the dial. It's a copper dial. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. It's going to go ape on this thing. And if, if you put this in a humid room, that thing will turn a beautiful shade of purple. That's oh, what I'm geez. saying. It's too light, and so uh, see Casey says it's too pink. That's supposed to be too pink today because it'll get darker later. Yeah, it'll see, either get, get brown or purple, depending on or, or like a blue, depending on what your weather mm -hmm. and where you put it. Oh my God! Imagine if like we get six people get from six different regions, uh, and then after one year we do updates. Oh, this is how it aged. In North America, this is how it aged in Australia. This is how it aged in Dubai. It'll, it'll, they will all be different. It's gonna be so cool. You're buying one of these shitters too. This in the Ming. No, I'm broke as <laughs> pocus. Broke as pocus. Yeah. Yeah. See, focus, Tim, focus. Tim hypes Come up on, man. Models, but he only puts his money in Rolex. I'll try. I'll try. You know, he I actually he bought a Ming. He's got like, a Ming that's like quadrupled in value, but you can't find it anywhere. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Tim's the smartest man in the room. Right, it's only valuable if you him. sell it. Just ask him. <laughs> that that Ming will be gone before it gets on his wrist. Mm, my my Ming. Yes, your Ming. So JJ, you're not you're not going to be looking at the Thursday. Uh, what is it? Ten thirty a.m. Eastern time for the new. Yeah, Ming. I want to try to get one of those honey dial. Right. Yeah, you're in for that, I'm right? Definitely Wait, in for, for that. Real? Yeah, but I'm not keeping it. That's going. <laughs> JJ is a businessman. I'm man. contacting through you. and I'm through. Contacting. No, I'm o I'm only kidding. I want to keep that. Okay. Till till August. Oh, that's right. <laughs> right. We all we, uh, we all want to keep it. Absolutely. <laughs> Toyota Mo, this is the official <laughs> place for the Ming watches. Coronavirus is a shitter. <laughs> and uh, Kamra Kabi, Tim, can you a can you ask which piece TS father has? Oh, uh, yeah. We, yeah, TS, TS. What? Um, uh, let me actually. Let me one second. Let me just get the super chat from Willito one two one one five dollars. Do you guys think AD is in airport? Might have a bit more Rolex variety. Traveling for my honeymoon next week to Jamaica, and there are a total of three ADs. Ooh, no, tell nothing. Tell one of every one of them that you just got married and you're dying to buy. A submariner or something. Hopefully, right. maybe one will come through. But I doubt if you're it. if you're planning to get a Cellini for your wife for the honeymoon, you might be in luck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my God! I know when I was traveling to Korea at the, I mean, it was a New York airport and the Korean airport. They had nothing, nothing. I think the ADs at airports, they just sell everything to the gray market. Like, they don't care. There's no responsibility. I mean, there's no... Unless unless you buy multiple pieces in one, like... They might have, like, Batmans in the back room. And if you say, I'll buy this lady's watch, and I want the Batman on top of it. Right now. What, what right second now. watch? What second watch you think you'll need? You think you might need to triple play? Some kind of date just some kind of date just. Yeah. If you do that. Combo meal. Yeah. Combo meal deal. It's possible they might have like an Air King, a Yacht Master, uh Yacht Master 2. They'll they'll probably have some steel date just. Uh, but I wouldn't buy date just by themselves. I would go combo meal, sub with something else. Just like literally, like I, which steel sports you have? I'll buy this watch if you add a steel sports to it on top. At the airports, because airports, you're in and out. There's no relationship with airport dealers. You're never. Let's be honest. It's not like people. You're not gonna travel to Jamaica 
again to get uh, a second watch. Like, I understand, like, I live in the city. I buy one, I get on the waiting list. What are you, you're going to get on the waiting list at the airport? It makes no sense. So you, they have, they probably have those wa those steel sports watches in the back. You have to ask them for two piece meal deal, or you don't, on the, or don't buy anything. So right. I've, sorry, go ahead. No, no, I just I agree. Yeah. So I've been, and I forget if it was the Cayman Islands I was in, or I was in, it was in Nassau. I need water. But, I'll be right back, and then sure. we'll talk about TS's father's watches. Sure. I, I remember. I, I you know didn't didn't get into a. They, the Rolex ADs wouldn't deal, but everyone else were dealing really easily. Like um, like Omega just dro you know, dropping their pants on the prices. Everybody dropping their pants on prices. It was all like a lot quicker than what you would get going local. <clears throat> Welcome to Jamaica. Have a nice day. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Guys, guys, hear that joke before? I know exactly the joke you're referring to. That's I'm right. Gonna, I'm not going to yeah. repeat it. Keyword is Wendy. Wendy. That's right. Okay. TS, can you tell Hello. can you tell us uh, you, do you have a picture or uh I don't have a picture of all of them together, but that's, um that's just fine. saying outright that um we're really fortunate because uh my family has been with the same AD for literally decades. It's because my my grandfather used to buy from the same AD as well, so we have a really good relationship with them. So yeah. generally, like um, a lot of the popular models, we are able. I mean, my dad kind of can get can get them with. I mean, it's possible to get most of the things that he wants. Can, can I also point out how rare that is that someone has a son who is into watch? Usually, like. We have a, like look, you look at Archie. He has this whole this collection, and his sons they don't care about watches. Yeah. And most mo most like you know these you know older older people with these massive collections, their kids they don't care. And like, how lucky your dad has to be. Uh, I think I'm just a weird kid to be honest. Like I always like things that no other kids like. And uh, hey, I, remember I was I, I'm with you, TS. I'm with you. Hey, yeah. I'm with you. I remember I was 11 and my dad like bought a, a Rolex and I just went onto the Rolex website when I was 11 years old. So this was like 14 years ago. And the watch that really caught my eye at that time was the um, pre-ceramic sea dweller. I thought that was such a cool watch. Wow. I, I, I like that it was it, it was like a sub, but just a little bit cooler. And if you know, you know kind of watch. Yes. Yeah. No Cyclops. Yeah, exactly. It looks about the same, but it goes like four times deeper. It's just like so cool. Still, that's that amazing. Watch. Interesting. Yeah. That is very interesting. Man, and he didn't have to prod you and push you. He didn't have to, he didn't have to buy you Casio or G Shocks to get you into the hobby. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I, I had a G Shock phase to be honest, but now nah, I kind of pushed myself in towards the whole watch direction. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And how did you find like Archie and the whole this whole community? That is a good question. I. I don't know how exactly I stumbled across Archie, but I don't know. It's, uh, I'm telling you how. Just, searching for a watch. That's how, that's how everybody Yeah, I, I think b back in 2014, there were hardly any watch YouTubers besides Archie. I think probably he was probably one of the, probably the only one, to be honest. And, uh, wow. and uh, it's like, it was one of those things where you just, when, you, when you start watching, you just kind of can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty addicting. It's pretty addicting, yeah. I gotta say. Once you start, you're like, oh, I have to watch every single video. Yeah. It's like, I mean, don't take this the wrong way. It's like on the freeway, you see there's a car crash, but you know you shouldn't look, but you just want to look at it anyways. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. That's nice. All right. So what, what are some of the pieces that, that your dad had? First um, of all, how many? How many? Like, can you estimate? Uh, less than 20, I think. Okay. I mean, he, he's been collecting for quite a long time. Yeah. Um, Sizable but, um, collection. That's, yeah, yeah because that, of, that's, that's pretty good, man. That's more than 10. Or fifteen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mostly steel, mostly sports, and mostly bought before the hype. Mm. Um, like maybe a few years before hype. Like back when I'm talking about back when you can get a Batman at a discount kind of wow. period. So I remember. Yeah, I could yeah. have gotten a uh, Batman instead of the sub. Yeah, just... you know, crazy times. Um, but I think he got a watch in December that I'm really eager to play around with. But um, 
but I ha haven't been able to fly back to Malaysia because of, you know, studies and COVID quarantine and everything. Yeah. But uh, he managed to get a, a, a meteorite uh, Pepsi. Ooh. Oh, what the wow. Fuck? That's beautiful. I love the meteorite. Dude. Oh, nice. yeah. It was a birthday wow. present for himself. Um, but I'm I'm just so keen to just have a look at it in real life. Yeah. <laughs> that Amazing. Is, uh, yeah. Amazing. That's Jeez. like my favorite Pepsi. I mean, it's so cool. Meteorite. It's the most romantic, the most romantic of dials. Yeah. It's... <sighs> Especially with the number of black dial Rolexes that we talked about. Like you have the Explorer yeah. too. Uh, yeah. the polar you can get a day chest with a white dial but like there's so many black dial rolexes yeah the gmts the subs except for the hulk um and i guess the white gold or smurf like it just is great to be able to get a gmt with a meteorite dial how special mm. is outstanding that, and it's actually a um, subtle homage to a, um, there was a GMT in the 50s with an albino dial. So it's like really, really rare. So it's like a subtle, people say it's like a subtle homage to that watch. You can I mean, try Googling an albino yeah. GMT. I did, I did not know that. That's... Let's see. Oh, wait. Oh, this one? Albino um, GLT, GLT. Possibly. It's with a big, I think it was a big light bezel. Yeah, so the really Ooh. fragile bezel from the 50s. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. Man. Nice. Nice condition. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, really. I was going to say that. Look at that condition. And I got it. That bezel. I didn't even know this watch existed Man. until now. That's incredible. Yeah. Look at that. Look at what the, the knowledge of the guest, of the new I guest know, panel. Man. You mm. learn something new every day. Wow. Yeah. And these um, reference 6542s, um, they have a, the bezels made out of Bakelite. So it's like a really fragile material. So finding one in like good bezel, good conditions, the bezel is really, really difficult. What the hell? There was an explo uh, albino yeah. explorer as well. Ooh. Oh, Tim, I, I think you Ooh. found your next watch, Tim. Yeah. Oh, I think I may God. have found my next watch. Look at that. That's insane unreal wow. now look at that watch now what is the retail toyota mo asked a good question does that watch really exist it's a mm. good question oh you think Are it's a freaking being... watch you well i don't know example no it must exist right it's well hodinky the legendary albino rolex Let's yeah see no, if they, have they one both well, well, well let they me ask you this won't. though they only what, go up for at auction. right what's the price of that watch at yeah. auction you know what are we talking about there? <gasps> How many are there in the world? That's my question. Uh, that's a good question. That's, I that, don't that'll know. That'll the price. I have no idea what. To say. <laughs> I don't particularly follow these kind of options, you know, because I can't really afford them. Right. Dare to dream, dream big, Marco. Ah, I wouldn't own these for the price they go for. There's much better watches. Just my opinion. Why? Carry through the line. Stuff in this league. Yeah, this is Carrie Voodalinen range. Like, this Harry's looks like I would own Carrie Voodalinen over this. Sorry, any day of the week and three times on a Sunday. <laughs> this looks like this was the one of those albino dials, but just went completely mm. ape because yeah. somebody left it in the sun for a year. Some moron. Total moron. Because I gotta tell you, I don't really love the patina on that dial. The way that's patinaed. Oh yeah, it just looks. You like know what I'm paper. saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like looks the like difference rusted. between the price on that one and the the other one that you just showed, the minty, minty, fresh. Yeah, yeah. it's got to be enormous. The price difference. Huge. I mean, these watches they go like black. Well, the minty dollars, fresh one is probably a museum piece. It's probably not even like a from somebody's. I'm clothes. telling you, man, pre-ceramic coke. <clears throat> Why don't people buy those? Yeah, Toyota Mo also brought up a good point. The date is supposed to be red. On the other one, I don't think it was red. Oh, wait, let me go back. Actually, no, that's not true. It might have, because they did an Ooh. alternating system. So vintage Rolex had an alternating system. 29, 22. That's a red. Yeah, exactly. So the even. even numbers, exactly. The even numbers were red, and the odd numbers were black, as far as I know. 
on some, but I don't know about this reference specifically if all of them are supposed yeah. to be read. Wow. Let's, yeah. just, let's just look at some more pictures. That's an insane looking piece. You know, that's something you could sell. That's you something that they could sell them. today. Or, yeah. <laughs> with your left hand. That's good like one. only Danger. one of them. That's are... a good one. Oh, yeah. Look, see here, 14. That's black. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's possible. Yeah. Who knows? Look at this. 18 in red. Hard to say. Hard to say. However, you look at this and it's just, mm. it's meteorite, guys. It's a meteorite dial. I oh. love this. I Christ. absolutely love this. This is really nice. Beautiful. Jeez, look at the pattern of the meteorite. I spoke with my. Oh, is uh, that the meteorite where they cut it from? That's insane. Yeah, I always wanted to know actually how they make that. And it's molten core. Interesting. Wow. They could have like an astronaut like autograph it. So they, they they slice this thing up a slice of a you know, it's not that meteorite. expensive right meteorite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah meteorite. actually the only reason we're hyping it up is because it's rolex i mean you can get like well, micro course. bands who use meteorite dials and nobody gives a shit about yeah. them yeah. So this in our, no, no, guys, in the marco, the marco <laughs> watch company we this will is have a meteorite Gibeon dial me on it. guys guys here's the thing not marco all meteorites meteorite. are made the same not all me listen 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 yeah. Not all meteorites are made the same. There are so older are the meteorites and there are newer meteorites. There are meteorites that are just like junk. Uh, you have something like this. This is, it's like diamonds, right? There are different kinds of diamonds with different kinds of perfections or imperfections. There you are different I mean? elements in uh, meteorites, Tim. That's yeah. What, I think that's what he's trying to say. Yeah. Yeah. So you can have a high quality, me just because they're both meteorites, it's irrelevant. It's just like it's just like saying, "Oh, a piece of glass is the same as uh, has a good as a diamond." A good comment, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which one? Which one? William Money. <laughs> That's, that is priceless. William Money. Go to go down to William, William Money. When Omega uses <laughs> uses space rock, it's called a cheap gimmick. <laughs> Rolex does it is the best thing <laughs> since sliced <laughs> <less> bread. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and I think Zelos. Oh, doesn't Zelos? God. Zelos is like some micro brand shitter. They do like uh, they do meteorite dials. Let's, don't let's they? check. Yeah, let's well, you remember I had it and I flipped hey. it like a week hey. later, like seven hundred. Yeah, what, what, what are the gray dealers? What are the gray dealers selling meteorite for these there you days? Go. Let's, That's let's the one that JJ had. Wasn't look it? at let's, it. Let's uh, spook it from the grays, man. Let's, look at the meteorite some, on this thing. There's a run. It makes me want to vomit. It's just the pattern is different, Tim. <laughs> Dude, the, no, it's, come saying, on, no, this he's meteorite right. dial that's an ugly is meteorite. Me yeah, that's, that's not a good meteorite. It's disgusting. They, they get that meteorite dial in the bargain aisle of meteorite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when they went to meteorite dial, they went to the sales thing. <laughs> they went to the discount thing. Meteorites are us. <laughs> meteorites are us. <laughs> they went. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, On Amazon, good. best value, you know? Yeah. Meteorite. They search for Moda High. Discount meteorites for my Zelos, please. <laughs> But 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 these guys live for <laughs> household. One for household. Zealous is not selling too many of these. Limited. Oh, God, it's look, one for household. Is, like time piece gentlemen. Guys, it's limited. Exactly. Exactly. It's sold out. They're not making this was limited run. You, if you didn't buy it, you missed out. <laughs> I mean five of them. Five yeah. of them. Yes. When they were oh, selling it, boy. these were going, they were, these were selling like, high, I mean, this is so hard. You understand this meteor dial was so hard to make, manufacture that, that they were selling these at $700. The that Rolex makes when they do those meteorite You look at that meteor <laughs> dial. It's gold, you so Rolex already the markup is insane. Dial. Yeah. Jeez. Like the markup on this must be at least two to 300% minimum. Probably minimum. And so they have I their own this, foundry. Danger will rob and some meteorites now available that you gotta have to have rocks in your head dot com. <laughs> so I noticed something interesting um, with their Rolex releases. They say you know how they release the uh, the meteorite Daytonas on the on the Osiflex. 
Mm. Toyota Mo Rolex meteorite is 13 billion years old, where Zealous is only 12 billion years old. Viking Shider. No, you can't have that on your wrist. You can't. Yeah, Dude. exactly. I, how old is the universe? How old is the universe? 13.8 billion years. Okay. Now, uh, I just want to give me a meteor, right? Uh, let's just Google it. Uh, Tim, you know who just replied to me on Instagram? Uh, Instagram, finally. Mr. Ming, Ming Tian, just, just replied to me on Instagram. What did you write him an email? Said, Don't sell me the watch saying? because what I'm going to flip it. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm trying to do an interview. With him. I'm trying to do an interview, an interview. It says Gibeon meteorite is four billion years old, guys. <laughs> four billion years. So, Logan Hall, make me a meteorite. <laughs> wow. Wait, it, we need, we need actually billion. a meteorite emoji. A meteorite is it four emoji. billion years old or did it land on the Earth four billion years ago? Um, it says, so some geologists say it's four billion years, years old. No, no, the, the, the meteorite itself is. By the time you get it off the waiting old. list, it'll be, it'll be five billion years old. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Toyota Mo, I want value. I want to know my meteorite is one billion years older than yours. I mean, guys, this is why not not like four billion years old. You know how how, how old that is? Uh, the planet the planet Earth is like eight billion years old, right? The whole universe is thirteen. Actually, danger just popped up an interesting question. Yeah. So everyone, what's gonna be the next hot dial type? Ooh. What do you think? Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna assume type means texture or color or style, anything. I basically. think uh, kryptonite might go uh, <clears throat> go go for a lot in the uh, in the in this market. Some kryptonite. What kryptonite. is kryptonite? Kryptonite dial. What is that? You never heard of, you never heard of kryptonite? That that, okay. that space rock that makes the Superman go weak. Correct. Yes, he loses all his powers. If you have kryptonite, that's how oh. that that's how you defeat Superman, i.e., aka Mr. GMT. You know. Mm. So if you ever wanna, if you ever debate GMT, just pull out some kryptonite, and he'll uh, melt because he loves Superman. Probably just watched a bit of Tempius Gentleman from two months ago. He was saying Green Dial Daytona discontinue 100% and will become 100k watch within eight months. Bullshit. I mean, it's uh, you you sell. What's it called? We're selling the hype. It's like when I said six zero zero six is going to be a hundred thousand dollar watch. It will become that because I said so. Right. These people. Well, I. It's a group think. It's not even one person. I don't even want to single anyone out because they're Jerry, all they're all doing it. Yeah, Jerry Powell, forty rubles, guys. How much of your net worth is in watches? Almost a hundred percent. You go. That's the honest truth. In, I, gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta be honest. It's almost a hundred percent. Besides the super chats, most of my money is in watches. It, it, it's a disaster. It's a disaster right now. Uh, Guys, what's going on with Ethereum? Speaking of disasters, what happened? Mm -hmm. it, it went down almost twenty five percent in the last like week. Oh, because people realizing it's it's worthless. It's just code. <laughs> it's just code. It's just numbers in the computer. It's worth nothing. It's worth as much as the hype. You know, it's like the Daytona. If people suddenly didn't want Daytonas anymore, it will become, um, it would lose half its value. You remember Everything. Zoolander? You guys yes, watched the movie. Zoolander. Zoolander. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you guys watch it. Good, 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 good. So you'll remember this. You'll remember this reference when they're like, "It's in the computer," and it's they were like, in, it's the in, the "In the computer, in the computer." Yeah. Ah, and they smashed the computer to bits. Yes, that's right. that reminded me, Tim, when you said that. Like, it's it's the oh. computer. It's in the computer. Ben That's Stiller, what by the way, is are. a huge uh, Bell and Russ fan. And I own some crypto, so I don't want to. No, no, no. It's, it's not about Ethereum. It's about the, what's the, the Cordaro. Dogecoin. Yeah. Cordaro. Cordaro's. Yeah, Cordano is, Cardano is the new the new Dogecoin. It's the currency of. I hope so. I got like, like 3,500. I told you, man. I 
I it look, did. It did. I remember. Look, I don't know if look. I don't know if this is. It's pure. A lot of it's luck, right? We're just throwing uh, a dart against uh, a, whatever. Pin the tail on a donkey, or you're throwing a dart you're, on a you're dart. You're throwing board. a dart into That's space. That's You hope to hit a gibby you know and meteorite. Though. Exactly. I bought a card out in 2018, so I've had oh, it for shit. years. Oh yeah, you're way ahead. Am I? I don't even know. I haven't even looked at it. You could own if you owned a Cardano, then you could probably like control. Imagine that, JJ. Like you controlled Cardano. Like you. No, I, I only bought like thirty five hundred you know? or thirty six hundred uh, shares. I, that was a brilliant move because it's the Ethereum guy, the create one of the creators. I think moved over and said, right. "I could do this better." Yeah. Zero that's pounds, okay. Forty rubles. If so, Tim. Uh, JJ. Great. JJ is super rich. It's the, it's weirdly worded, but hey, JJ is not doing not doing too bad. Going to Florida, having <laughs> fun at the casinos. Hey, hey, JJ. I lost, I lost my shirt in the casinos, man. <gasps> you did? Oh, yeah. They, yeah you made a killing out. in the Cordaros. They they made they Cardano, made me Cardano. they made me walk out barefoot with no shirt on. <laughs> Get out of my establishment. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Probably captain. That's the word. Groupthink. That's the Instagram mentality. A lot of young people have done uh, ha uh, have now. All the girls I talk to, looking to date, have it. Entitlement, hype, ego, self importance. The TikTok. That's the that's the TikTok think. TikTok think. It's not groupthink. It's TikTok thing. Yes. It's that. Right, something like that. There you go. Hey, uh, JJ, uh, what's uh, what do you play at the casino? What's your game? I play poker. Poker. Oh. Nice. <sighs> wow. I, I'm not. I'm not a game of chance type of guy. I um, like to play poker. I, I'm not. I don't like being victim of the algorithm with those slot machines. Not my thing either. I'm yeah, a, I, I never play slots. Sometimes yeah. I'll play blackjack or roulette just for fun. I, I could but, sit at a blackjack table, you know, all night if they just keep bringing me scotches on a semi-regular basis and you know mm. in vegas mm. no problem i yeah. could easily sit there and just forget time has passed right but i do i do get a little bored playing playing blackjack i kind of need um uh, a little more that's why i play pole right. it cool. takes a little more energy you know if i'm relaxing like you said if you want to have some scotch and just relax yeah i'll play roulette or, or blackjack you know just to chill out but um, most of the time, I get, I get too bored after a while because there's not too much to it. I need to think a little more. So mm, look at this, Ronald, five dollar super chat. It's all right, JJ. I lost my sanity during lockdown. <laughs> I have a cool office space now, and finally a GMT Batman. Congrats on the Batman! I'm glad you finally wore down the AD. Yeah, <laughs> gotta. That's well, all about well done, Ronald. He, he, he wouldn't give up until they gave him what he wanted. I like that. Mm. By the way, uh probably looks like Tim has moves for TikTok. Yeah, I that's all I want. My my TikTok, it's all e-girls, e-girls whole day long. Uh to hear more blackjack, uh you yeah. rely on the other players to know what they are doing. Oh, oh yeah, it's, especially it's, if you got a bad player be on the anchor. Oh my god, you're in trouble. It's the worst. Yeah, like they split on twos or hit on a twenty or whatever. Yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah, it's it's just not good. They have fourteen, they're like, hit me. It's like, come on, just let them try to bust play for <laughs> the table. Like they don't understand, Dude. like, you know, they'll have sixteen, Tim, and they'll ask to be like to hit instead of Hoping they bust, you know what I mean? Like they mess it up for the whole table. So you gotta know Some, how to play for the table. People don't know the basics. That's the yeah. you know. now. I mean, here's the okay. That's an interesting. This is a subtopic all in and of all in and of uh, mm. all in and of itself. Is that how you say it? Um, mm. You know, you're playing for the table, right? So like, you're not counting cards, but let's say you have like that gut feeling mm -hmm. that you know you have a sixteen. Yeah, you just feel like it's gonna be. A low card, you know, it's not going to be a face card. Okay, you have like a gut, and, yeah, and I, hate, I hate people like you already. But go ahead. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't say I, had, I, just I, didn't, a, I just have a feeling that I'm, I'm going to blow. No, I didn't. I didn't say I would do it because no, I'm, no, I'm, I'm, I'm I also no. I feel like I get the pressure of the rules because the table will literally like yell at you. I don't yeah. like to play in that spot for that reason because yeah. someone's going to like bitch at me and say. 
And I might even not know. I mean, I know the basics, right? 16 hit or don't hit, you know, yeah. uh, below that stay. What does the dealer have? He's going to bust. He's got 18 showing, blah, blah, blah. But, yeah. like, there's pressure on that. When you're in that seat, I don't know what they call it. Is that – that's uh, – anchor. The anchor if you're the end. Yeah. The last right, right. right. And everyone, like, bitches, man. I'm like, apologize. Oh, all right. Here's some drinks. Here's money. You know. <laughs> I just want to have as fun. I, as, as, I say, as I say, you're right. I would never yell at somebody. I would be pissed with them, maybe privately, but I would never yes. yell at somebody for not doing it right. right. It's just not, it's not fair. It's the not idea fair. is, right, they're going to take a card that, let's say, they shouldn't have. And that means the whole deck is ruined and the dealer will, let, yes. will get the next card. But let's say that it works out where their bad move helps out, you know, bust the dealer. Yeah, yeah. but it's still not the right way to play is the yeah. concept. You still Because okay. if you so, stick to the rules every time, yeah. it'll pay off for you most of the time. Right. Or more, more than it won't. That's kind yeah. of is you it? Know, like, you but know what, if everybody was playing it that way, have, then there would be no like Casino wouldn't have the game because it, it, they, they no, wouldn't no, have they it. So that win, but the chances are, if you everyone plays the right way, you yeah. have better chances to to win than not win. It doesn't mean you're going to win every time, but you you have a better shot. You yeah. know. G is Superman. The captain is the guy yeah. that doubles yeah. down on the hard fifteen against the yeah. dealer twenty. So, so st statistically speaking, isn't <laughs> not, not true? Jeez. Statistically speaking, isn't um assuming not everyone true. plays by the rules, isn't blackjack the most um you have the best chances of, of winning in you know, it's always stacked in the dealer's favor, of course. Table game, the, yeah, table games it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah. the slide edge. Tim's going crazy right now. It's not Wait, that far. You, you, you never know the dealer has a 20, first of all, before you could double down. That doesn't even make any sense. Right. And if I don't knew, even know what a hard 15 is. If you is, knew he had honest. 20 and you had 15, why wouldn't you hit? It doesn't make any sense. But anyway. I mean, uh, I got a hard 15, but not in blackjack. I don't know what this guy's doing. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> no, I mean, seriously. What is, uh, what is a hard what's a hard, what's a hard 15? Does anyone know? When you have uh, a, a, a 10 and a 5. In your lap. Yeah. You get a no. 15, that's called a uh, hard 15. That's a, a soft, soft 15, man. A, <laughs> it's hard 15. I, I come on and I hear the captain going, he has a hard 15. Uh, anyway, I got it. <laughs> hey, I got to tell you, if I, knew, about, if, if, I, if I knew the dealer had a 20, damn right I would hit the, I would hit a hard 15. I wouldn't double down on it. But yeah, it's, because you would never know the dealer had a 20 yeah. before you could make that decision anyway. But. Yeah, Superman knows. He's He's got uh, the x-ray vision. He's yeah, so funny. He's, uh, he's counting cards too, G.S. Superman. I'm the watching you. Part I'm is, watching you. The worst part is when you bet like 200 and the anchor has no idea what they're doing and they're betting like 25 bucks. Right. And, you know, the dealer is showing a face card. So you got to always assume it's, you know, a 20 or always whatever. A, yeah, exactly. the, the card you can't see is a 10. So yes. if the dealer has a, a, a king showing or something, you know, um, wait, no, no. You're not supposed to. You're supposed to uh, not take the extra card. Let's say if you have 15, you don't, you're not supposed to hit. But now you mess it up for the whole table. You're supposed to hope they bust. Is the point, and the yeah, whole, right. your whole, your whole but, right. you, but if yeah. they have a ten, but if they have a ten showing, and they're that you assume a ten underneath, you're kind of screwed, anyways. You might as well, right. you know, you might as well hit it yeah. because I, you're. I yeah. actually misspoke. What I meant was yeah. a low card showing, and you got to assume there's a ten underneath. Yes. You you want to yes. not hit yes. even with like twelve. You don't want to hit because you want to hope they get the exactly. picture and they bust. You know what I mean? Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Wins. You know what you want to do, guys? You want to hit it? Rusty. I haven't played in a while, but. You want to hit hit it and quit it. That's yeah. what you want to do. Pump and dump. Pump, pump and dump. And dump. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know right. what you really want to do is you wanna you wanna avoid the casino and go to the Rolex boutique. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Get on the That's waiting what you list. Really want to do. Like the win what? win. Just play win, craps. Win. Just play craps yeah. and have a good time. Just Caesar's Palace and all the know? ads and all the ads were the best, right? You know, you get your winnings. You then go walk through. You go get a walk. Get a nice watch. They they know how to do it there. They I know play. How to do it there. My, I like playing craps, and I do mm -hmm. play, and this is going to like uh, be controversial. I play the hard ways, mm -hmm. so the hard 10, mm. the hard 8. When the table is hot, you start throwing out chips and like hard 10, hard 8, and then like boom. That's how you – it might be a bad bet from the odds-wise. I don't think it's that bad. But I find that like – especially if you had a lot of drinks – that it makes it really fun to just throw shit out there and say hard eight, hard ten, you know what I mean, and like just get creative. 
and then uh, you end up making a pile of money, and hopefully you walk away before you lose it all. You know, I, I have a hard time with Crest because it's complicated, but I giggle like a 12-year-old boy when there's like the come bet and the don't come bet. Anyways. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's that's. Yeah. I didn't even you think know, about that. It looks like it's so much fun that I want. Oh, are you talking about crap shine now? I, I walked away from yes. it. Yes, 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 please. <laughs> hard eights, hard tens, and then Harry no mentioned come line I and not I, would hard. Love, I would love to play. It looks oh, like it's fun. You'd love it. You would love it. You get into it too. It's like an excitement when the role, you know, the uh, the shooter is like, you know, not crapping out. So he just keeps rolling mm. and rolling and rolling. Hmm. It's fun. Right. I mean, I, I would love to try it one day when I uh, when I know when I'm, when I'm with someone who knows what they're doing. But I don't know, I'm more of a I'm more of a hold them guy. That's that's what I usually know. That's Matthew well, Egan, that's a hard I usually game. Usually pass by the casino to hit the strip clubs. <laughs> I like getting yeah. something, <laughs> losing money. <laughs> by the you way, know, he's, he's not wrong. wrong. That's he's smart. not wrong. He's yeah, not wrong. True. Yeah. yeah. Matt, by the way, you know with, uh, what's his name? Uh, you got to hook up with. Uh, wow, his name is slipping my mind here now. Wow. What the hell is his name, Tim? Our buddy, the farm. He goes to the strip clubs. You know uh, the Joe Kramer. Joe Kramer. Joe Kramer. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't think his name is. <laughs> Got to hook him up with Joe Kramer. Mm. Yes. At the club. That's the, the that's gentleman's the way club. To do it. You know, Tim, if you're spending the, money, you want to get something in return. That was the best. Tim thought the gentleman's club was a place where everybody hung out and well, gentlemen hung out. I thought, oh, that's where they talked philosophy. <laughs> You know, they get the big pipes, you know, uh, they got the newspapers in them and, and the monocles. And if somebody says something too loud, they go, <laughs> We're busy. We're oh. philosophizing. Spence R, $7 super chat. Nothing makes me happier at blackjack table than seeing a noobs sit down oh, with strategy sheet. You know, he's not going to bone the table. He did hit. <laughs> a strategy sheet. I've never seen that. Can you I imagine? Think I've seen Cliff there's Notes. Like a, there's like, like a family guy uh, episode where Peter, he gets, he's playing blackjack and he's like, Ted, hit. 16 hit, hit. 20 hit 21 hit 23 hit hey, that, that's a that's a high possibility that Here. the anchor could actually be working for the casino right and yeah. it's screwing up for the rest of the players yeah oh for sure for sure yeah. I'll, I'll give you a tip on what not to do at a blackjack table mm, what not so at the end of the night when you could barely see um <laughs> and you're Jeez. looking for a table right don't do not Go one on one with a blackjack dealer mm. when you're tired and drunk. Drunk, yeah. Right, because yeah. the fast pl they'll fast play you, and whatever money you have will be gone very, very quickly. Yeah, because they have the advantage. Yes, I learned. I learned that the hard it's way. Crazy. I, Me too. I did exactly that. It was very. It was carnage. I have. I was up five hundred bucks, bad. and I, I lost it in minutes. Mi exactly. Minutes. Yeah. It's yeah. funny how that happens, right? Yeah, yeah. We, we Superman, to, uh, five dollars yeah. super chat, sir. I suggest you hit on the five. I too like to live dangerously. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Man. I, we went to a casino one day, right? I was with a few of my friends. Maybe like four of us walk, five of us walk in, you know. And um, we just get to, we just get there. We didn't even check in yet. And we go to the, we're walking over to a table. There's one guy on the table, so we say, all right, let's go over here, you know. The guy was like the biggest dick in the world. Well, as soon as we walk over, he's like, no, 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 I'm playing this shoe by myself. I don't want to hear it. Like he was so like, yeah, all right, buddy, no problem. We just got literally just walked in. So we start watching him now because he was just such a dickhead. We had to watch him for a few minutes and he's <laughs> just losing and losing and losing. And he's getting so mad. He's like, this is bullshit. This is the worst. Uh, the What is it called again? I just said the name. Uh, the the sure. worst shoe I've ever had. Shoe was like when they put a couple of decks in the, you know, in the thing. I hate that. So he wants to run the whole shoe by himself. He's getting slaughtered. This guy loses like thousands and thousands of dollars. He's so mad. He's fuming. We all look at each other. We're like, this shoe is so bad for him. And the next one has to be good. It has to be. So he leaves. He goes through the whole shoe, lo loses. He walks away with like $3. I don't know how much he had left. But he lost like literally like 8000 on the table. Got oh, slaughtered. my God. It, it, it was like just carnage. He lost like every hand possible. And he was playing normally. He was just getting killed. So we, we were like so pumped. We're like, this is great. 
As soon as he leaves, we we go we take the whole table and it was like four or five of us. We we all won like my friend one of my friends he plays like big big money. He won like fifteen thousand. My other friend won five thousand. Another guy won seven thousand. I wasn't betting that big. I won like three thousand. We crushed this table because we all just played together and uh, you know like played the same way and helped each other. We slaughtered them the whole the whole rest of the time. We were just we were partying on there. He took all his money and more. Yeah, yeah, we basically got his stack plus more. Well, my friend Sal, he's nuts. Every time he goes, he either loses thirty thousand or he wins a hundred thousand. There's like no in between with him. Mm -hmm. but, uh, Does he play uh, you do it? Sit on the same table Blackjack. with the captain. Oh, you'd love it. You, you, you'd get a lot of en entertainment at my table. You sit with the you captain might, for the me. entertainment, not right. to win. Exactly. What What's your favorite drink at the blackjack table? Mine is Dewar's and soda. For me, it's just a neat, honestly, a neat burger. Go to. Or a like vodka. Burger. You know how they bring yeah. vodka to you, but it's like watered yeah. down? A little bit, yeah. And it, it takes like 20 minutes for them to get there. Yeah. Because it's And you got to order the next one out. when you get it. That's you, what you I You have to say, you I'll take another. Yeah, you got to it up. Yeah. It'll Anyways, take them a while. When we're talking about watches, yes. right? Okay, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, what, let's. What let's watch would you wear at the blackjack yeah. table? Mm. Ooh, that's a good question. <laughs> Your good day question. date. <laughs> I will show you. You need to wear the G Shock. Ooh, that shows you you're a boss. For real? For real? Yeah, that's what you wear. Oh. That shows you you're the boss. Damn. I would wear something not ex not too crazy because I wouldn't want to like feel like I can go to the hawk place, right? And mm -hmm. cash it in for cash. <laughs> Yeah, or put it on the table. Could you imagine throwing your watch on the table? So, you think I'm, I'm joking? I, I actually do wear the cheapest watch I can to the, to the tables. I just don't. I don't want to attract attention. Let them think don't I'm an idiot. Accidentally I don't gamble care. it away. Yeah, like I just like you know. You know, I think which watch is the perfect uh, watch to wear at the at the table? It's right here. Meteor, right? This is how you show that you're the boss. You're a winner. Winner. Chicken dinner tracks uh with Spence attract, our attention. Yes, seven dollars super jet Atlantic City with the captain. I'm in. Ooh, oh, yeah, we should yeah. do this road trip. We could do Borgata, trip, baby. Hasn't, oh, haven't yeah, been there in a place. while. That's the only place I go to is Borgata. I love Borgata. I get nervous, honestly, with Atlantic City. Like, it, it's I'm happier when I'm like leaving sometimes, but it's just like, mm. thank god I got out. Mm. You know, well, I really like this meteor that it looks like a roulette wheel, doesn't it? Doesn't it remind yeah. you? Wow, that would be yeah, a nice. You gotta, watch wear the, you gotta wear the Jacob and co roulette wheel watch. <laughs> oh, actually, you know what? A, a, one of the viewers has it. Let me see if I can bring it up. I think it's here. Roger, Roger Dubois roulette. Oh, wheel. pull up. Hold on, Logan Hall. Logan Hall. It's right here. I think it's. It's just uh, the first one always takes takes a while. Oh yeah! By the way, hi TC, fellow countrymen. I'm from Penang. Oh hi, hello. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm from Penang as well. Oh cool. <laughs> yeah. Tim, did I tell you I picked up another G Shock recently? Oh no way! No. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I have a few G Shock. Every once in a while, I pick one up. I got I got the uh, the DW fifty six hundred MS. No idea what that is, but pull it up. Tell me. The black one was this. You, you want me to tell you? Or? Yeah, one, one second. Let me just. I, I just wanted to pull up the the roulette wheel. Such a good collection. Oh yeah, this is Boba Boba Hotep. Yeah, I remember oh, his collection very yeah, well. He's yeah. a he's a legend. Beautiful. Look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let me show you. This box I could do without, to be honest. But <laughs> look, I mean, this is what's. Who am I to judge? This is the spice. This is how you spice life up. Look at that <laughs> roulette wheel. <laughs> Oh wow, that's cool. That's it's got cool. this 3D. Who has thing? the poker I... watch? Oh, who's the guy who has the poker watch? The poker um poker rich, right? What's his name? Who's the guy who has the poker watch that Archie was busting his chops in the in the the uh paid review? Oh, I don't know. Isn't that poker rich that he has the, the poker I watch? I don't think so. I don't think so. But this Boca Boba Hotep collection, I haven't bring that. I haven't brought it up uh, in a in a while. He has so many interesting ones, like especially this box, right? Like you look at this. This is it's like a humble collection, 
within a collection of a multi-millionaire. How look big is this. that U-boat? The it's huge. Line. Look how you red it is. Nope. That's re- you, you, a crazy watch. Yeah. Do you wear it on your ankle? Or? This is like, uh, you know, this tracks... Uh, <laughs> ankle bracelet. Yeah, yeah, it's wear, like they, yeah, you, it looks like an ankle bracelet. Yeah, you yeah. wear that on house arrest. Yeah. And it's left-handed. Yeah, it's, yes, house arrest. <laughs> it's pretty. It's pretty amazing. Like you know, U boats. They make a lot of ugly watches. Hmm. But I have like the the red color is just what? That's so I, crazy. I gotta be honest. I hate this box. To be honest with you. I mean, There's this is not a box for everybody. everybody. Look at no. this one. This this also looks like uh, some kind of a poker wire with, with these triangles. Looks like a. It means reminds me a bit of a like a knockoff Jaeger. Jaeger. Yeah, oh, okay. you're talking about like what's it called? Polaris. Like a Polaris, sort of. Polaris. Yeah, it gives the similar vibes to the uh, mm. the Jaeger, I think. Yeah. yeah, this is his like uh, fun fun watch. So obviously he has all he has all, like a lot of uh, Rolex steel sports, and he has like the stunners. Ooh, the Daytona. But, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Has, beautiful watches. Yeah, I love that Daytona. I've been trying to get one for the longest time. I still haven't gotten the call. And this is like this is I haven't had an updated collection from him for for a while. So, um, yeah, he's a massive collector. Damn! Look at that, the Paul Newman. Tim, if you could have any any piece in the box, what would you take? I think there's got to be this Daytona right here. Yeah, I agree. Damn, this thing is amazing he was one of the first people to get the op as well the green honestly this is like a poker watch don't you feel like that looks like that poker table cloth material you know it's it's interesting for me it would be a tie you're Mm. you're all going to disagree with me between the the green dial which i really like Mm. and the uh and the the bruce wayne oh a tie for me between those two putting this which, putting which two are you? the bruce wayne and which one? Oh, i'm sorry the uh the oyster with the green dial oh okay yeah right. I'm, I'm putting value aside for a second and how much they're worth just in terms mm-hmm. of the watches that i like mm-hmm. definitely one of those two if, if i could take three bo- watches out of this box and i had no watches at all i mean it mm-hmm. doesn't make sense because the two would be the same but i would take the rupia mm-hmm. the Daytona, and the bruce wayne Mm, the gold Daytona. Daytona and the Bruce Wayne. I would go, I would actually get, I would take the root beer, the Daytona, mm-hmm. and I would take this two tone date just, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you take two I, rose golds. But it's kind of similar yeah. to the, um, the root beer, it's like steel and rose gold. Or is the sub, sub, maybe a sub. I think, yeah, that would mm-hmm. be better. The sub no date. Yes, yes, yes. There you go. Sub oh, no date. I didn't notice it was a no date. <laughs> yes. The sub no date. That's the forty one. Yeah, the sub no date. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That would be a. That's a perfect collection with it. And you have a steel two tone, full gold. Poway, it's hard to get that that Daytona. I've been trying to get one for like a year. Um, I don't know if you can get one and you have the money. I mean, I mean. By the way, TS, you see this this kind of a full collection shot. (laughs) Call your dad. Tell him we need show him the show, clip this uh the section <laughs> of the video, and tell him that we want to see his collection. We must see it. He's got a meteorite dial. <sighs> Woo! He's got a look. How many pieces is this? This is ten, p- uh, twelve pieces. 12. You said he. So he basically has your dad has like two boxes of watches. So we gotta see it. We gotta see it. Okay. My ask him to get a uh, LV watch box in the same time as well to put it all inside. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, so what are some other watches that he had? So this was his latest acquisition, the the meteorite he, dial. Yes, he got it in December. Yeah. Now, what did and, he get uh, before this? Uh, sorry, what did he get before this? I yeah. think it was the uh, the Cermit. Ooh, the Cermit. Very nice. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Cermit. And uh, wow. I think before that was a uh, I don't remember. <laughs> Damn, that's freaking awesome! 
No wonder he gave you the 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 black sub, right? That's kind oh, of like what I'm trying to do. He's like, I don't want to double up. <laughs> let, let me give the sub to my son. That way I can get a sermon for myself. Just all the ways to, it's just to justify your own purchases. Yeah. To make yourself feel better about spending money. Exactly. Oh, wait a minute. We had the Ronald in the back room and I didn't even notice it. Oh, Ron uh, Ronald. Ronald? Hey, Ronald. Can you hear me? Hey, hey yeah, yeah, we can hear. Sorry, faint. I didn't see Very you. Very faint. No, oh, it, it, it's cool. Um, hold on, I'll, I'll pull up the mic. It's dark in here, but uh, I'm just going to go on audio tonight. And uh, yeah, that, that's it's a really cool box of chocolates. God damn. <laughs> hey, it's something that all of us are working on. That's hard. It's hard. But I get why people really, really just stick with Rolex now after getting the Batman. Like, like the Milgauss for me was kind of like diet Rolex. Mm -hmm. I love the Milgauss, and I can't believe it's gone up in price. But uh, man, that Batman watch is so perfect! Holy shit! Yeah, congratulations on that again. Yeah, thanks, guys. Yeah, like it's uh, you leveled up from the the second tier to the top tier, you know. <clears throat> yeah, and mm -hmm. um, like there's other like I don't know if I'm gonna get more Rolex right away because like like. A lot of the Rolexes I find they're, they're very very similar the calibers um, and the ergonomics, but man, like once you get one of those top tier Rolexes, and I, I really prefer the GMT over the sub. Like you, you just really appreciate the damn thing. Like nobody executes a watch like that. Yeah, and it's it cannot be translated in pictures. And uh, so now you have a because a lot of people like to compare those Grand Seikos to the Rolex. Now that you have an, you have both. Now you can actually you can give us a, a little bit of your analysis. What do you think? Um, oh, the Grand Seiko is very very cool from a different perspective. So like the Grand Seiko is kind of like if you're gonna go out and you're gonna wear designer clothes, mm -hmm. I think the Grand Seiko goes better with that because it's funkier. It's okay. not functional, but it's it's got that. It, it, I don't know, there's sort of like a, a, a trendiness of like a super spooky vibe with that watch. And the artisanship in it does exceed well. But for day to day wear and, you know, picking it up and what are you going to wear your watch with? Like with the Rolex, you, like with, with, the, with the Batman, you don't have to worry. Yeah. <laughs> Did somebody uh, buy a shitter? <laughs> What do you got Hamilton watch? What's going on? Did you just go to the bathroom? He's, he's got a Hamilton. Did, did you just did you just go to the bathroom? Frederick Constantine, what's going on? Was this a hot mic? Was this a hot mic, uh, Ronald? Fred. Ted Hoyer. I'm dying over here, man. I'm dying. Ted Hoyer, the Ted Hoyer stamp right there, you know? You know we can hear everything that you're doing, right? <laughs> hey, Tim. Wait, what's going on? Maybe you should take a dump. Just wear a tag coir and then just get nervous and your body will vibrate. You go right to the bathroom, you know? Just like the attic. What the fuck? Who is that? Is that Ari? I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. It might be. <laughs> Wait, was it Ari? <laughs> Him or Ronald? One of them was taking a shit. I don't know. Wait. <laughs> oh, it's Ronald. It was Ronald. <laughs> I didn't know if Ari had a hot mic in the bathroom. I don't know. I don't... <laughs> Ronald, was that your mic or was that Captain's Ari's great. mic? No, that that was Ari's mic. <laughs> <laughs> they know there's a they know there's a mute button, don't they? Well, no, he's not <laughs> muted. You see, he's not mm -hmm. muted. Hey, yeah, no, I know. Oh, you kids. Are you <laughs> hold on, hold on. He's coming back. He's coming. Embarrassing. Back. Talk about bathroom humor. Well, it was, you know, I did that. That's why. Why do you think I have a fixed microphone now? And why do you think I have headphones? By the way, Ari, how, exactly. how was it? How'd it go? How'd it go? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Ari, Wait a minute. You gotta be careful with those shitters, man. Those shitters will fuck you up. You're gonna be in the bathroom trying to get rid of those forever. 
But I don't know. It doesn't make sense. How could it be? Ari, we cannot hear you. You're muted. You muted yourself. I just went to get a drink. I wasn't oh, where going was your to, microphone? Uh, where, where's your microphone? Yeah, I don't think it, was, it wasn't Ari. Oh. That wasn't Ari. No, my microphone was here. It wasn't me. Okay. Okay. Ari, someone's going to blame you for bathroom uh, antics. Yeah. It, it was Ronald. It was, it was no. Ronald. No, it's a. Let me show you my microphone. Yeah. It's, it's there you go. It, it was on the table. It couldn't have been Ari, guys. It was Ronald. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So funny. We can run the forensics tomorrow. Studies will show that it wasn't me. I, I don't have any shitters, you know? Only the toilet. <laughs> it's, a, wow. it's in a separate room. Oh, oh, thank, you. thank you for classing up the joint. We really appreciate it. <laughs> Amazing. Working Edge. Paddle's hey, thing thoughts on Oris Aquas. By the way, good thing that this happened at one hour and 30 minutes. Most people don't watch it this long, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, I, don't think a lot, I, I don't think this is going to go to reruns either, you know? So it's, it's one of the, the, the grave archive. It's only the most dedicated audience. Let's be honest. Oh, my God. JJ died laughing. Yeah, where did everyone go? I guess everyone's... Uh... Everybody's taking a, 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 a bathroom break. Time when you know Ronald's appearance, and then everyone's and leaving all of a sudden. Pretty much, it's just oh shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Five bucks to kick Ronald off, but anyway. Yeah. But you know what? I'm also I'm also wrapping up because I have to go okay. for a hike tomorrow with the wife. So, well, I mean, we did we did one hour and thirty minutes, which is pretty cool. Which is pretty cool, you know. Uh, I'm glad that I'm not the only one who was caught on the hot mic now. I can, I can always say now, well, in my defense, uh, Ronald did the same thing. So we're even. All right. Well, guys, have a good one. And uh, great to see you, Ronald. Yep. Yep. Hey, great enjoy the Batman. Ronald. Enjoy the Batman. And wear it in good health. Ooh, and Toyota Mo with pleasure. Uh, Ooh, the, the booting. The booting. The booting. You gotta go. Sorry, Ronald. Take care. I'll see you in the next the next one. <laughs> Thank you, that Toyota Mo. Nice. Yes, <laughs> Toyota Mo class this place up. It's yep. like yes. <laughs> pure class, pure class. Look, um, in uh, look, Ronald's not for everyone. Uh, What's going he, on he, in the chat? There's not a blame in TS. We need to did. resolve this. I don't he think it was. Did. He's oh. too classy of a guy. Uh, Tim, uh, you owe me a boot. No problem, no problem. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. See you tomorrow. I got you. Maybe I got you. Um, any, anyone you want. Anyone you want. You let me know who and when. Because, uh, yeah, we got a lot of characters on here. Look, Ari's, uh, Ari's up for sale. Mar <laughs> it's true. Yeah. <laughs> Uh yeah, so yeah, exactly. hey. everyone hey. everyone has a price. <laughs> Everybody's just, got just a just price on their head. Yeah. It's just how yeah. much. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. How much is your self esteem worth? Exactly. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You know, uh you know, I quite enjoy talking about gambling. I miss I miss Vegas. I miss uh just sitting at the table, the energy, everyone around. You know, I, yeah. I really miss that. I'm Got to find an excuse to get back there after. Yeah, it's the after social COVID. aspect, right? It's yeah. the social aspect of of gambling. Yeah, That's it's, the it's, best. It's great when you have a good table, even with people mm. you don't know, and everyone mm. respects each other, and everyone's mm. doing the right thing there. It's it's a lot mm. of fun. Mm. Mm. But before before we wrap up, hey, uh, oh, TS, welcome back. Hey. So we were go we were going through some watches that your dad's got. You said Sermit. A few more. Uh, uh, think so. I think. Mm, I mean, I don't want to go through it all. Just don't want to be like you know. Okay. Oh, we have this and that. No problem. No talk, problem. Um, we can talk about it more on uh, Discord. What's going? T S K fifty nine. You just yeah. pissed. Once. Wait, what happened? I know. Just reading the chat is. People. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was so funny. What, what happened? Oh, there was there was a hot mic. There was a hot mic. Hot mic in the bathroom. Hot mic in the bathroom. Ooh, wait. Actually, it might be. Um, so I I switched off for a while, and then I left my I, I turned off my headphones, and then 
it might be my housemates are using the because it's really close to the toilet or something. Might might have been me. I think if you had like flushing noises or something. I don't know. We think it was Ronald, but uh, it's 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 hard to say. No, Tommy said he rewound it, and and TS's uh, thing was lighting up with sound like. Yeah, sound. yeah, yeah. maybe it's me because uh, the the I live in a house with like quite a lot of people, and the toilet is really like close by. So. Yeah, one of your roommates was just blowing it up in there. Yeah. <laughs> no. Quite possible because I turned off the headphones, and then quite... maybe it just like it went it to the microphone the mic that's in the computer. On the computer, yeah. <laughs> that's funny. I'm sorry about that. No, that's all right. We were just trying to figure out because. So it was so, during sorry, when Ronald was saying it. We thought it was Ronald. Okay, I have to oh, apologize. Sorry, Ronald. Ronald. <laughs> no. Blame Ronald anyway. Ronald. Yeah, I'm Ronald sorry. Exactly. We're all Let's sorry stick with too. the Ronald. Oh, he's Ronald, back. you've been vindicated, Ronald. Yes. Okay. But he was still he was still kicked off. Why? How is he still on? I mean, he's, he was still, he was in the back room, but. I just brought oh. him back to say, uh, "Oh, okay. We're sorry. We're sorry." I don't even think he knows what's going on. We have to explain it to him. Yeah, Ronald took the blame like a man. <laughs> I don't think he knew what was happening. To be honest with you, if yeah, think... he was just talking, he he can't hear him. He can't like. Yeah, yeah he was it's... talking shitters. I think he actually thought <laughs> it was like and somebody was taking him watchers. Up. You know, <laughs> he didn't put make the connection. That's so funny. That's so funny. Yeah. Uh, and Tiermo says, I'm sticking with Ronald because it's funny. <laughs> let's, let's go That's with good. that. Yeah. Don't base it on science. Okay. Don't base it on science. Just Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Ronald, he's... Well, a, the he's bathroom a... echo didn't, didn't help his cause either. Yeah, no, he has sure. some echo in the in the room. And uh, it, it made it sound like it was him. So, But either way, either way, guys. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this up. I wanna unfortunately by by the way, I'm calling out fellow riser for being a coward. Coward Whoa, for not baby. coming and facing me uh in the live debate on the show. He sp he was he spoke uh, he's he was really tough. He spoke tough in the back room when it was off air. But look at this when it comes to uh talking on the live show. Suddenly, the chicken wings come out, guys. Chicken, chicken, chicken dinner. So, uh, if you see him in the chats, make sure to tell him, hey, he's a chicken. He's officially a chicken until hey, maybe he, he was rises just to the challenge, right? Maybe he was just busy. Nah, it wasn't busy. He said, I have to politely decline. Oh, because right. he doesn't like the way mom, the way I debate. Oh, if you don't debate me exactly how I want you to debate me, then it's not. I, I don't want to do silly. it. That's silly. Come on, some people take these things too seriously. Just you know. exactly, yeah. it's, they, they yeah. wrap their identity up in it, you know. Yeah. So. But he was talking so tough. You know what I mean? He's so tough in the chat. He's such a tough guy. He's like it's you, Tommy. Steel cage match. Yeah. He was calling me commie, socialist, blah, 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 etc. A keyboard warrior. And then, yeah, yeah, a keyboard warrior. And then he suddenly melts like a snowflake. Oh, I didn't know what I signed up for. Turns out he's not as good at the debater as he thought he was. I mean, everybody <laughs> in their mind, like, you know, thinks they're better than they are. But then, man, Pat, it was three. Hey, uh, Marco, I'm just wrapping up, but I'm just calling Wait, what out happened? Bello Riser. Well, yeah, where's Bello Riser? What the hell, man? I'm trying to get some free pay per view entertainment here. Chicken. He chickened <laughs> out. He chickened out. Time. Can I'm you believe I'm trying to get some free pay per view entertainment. <laughs> Fellow Riser, come on, man. What is this? Marco, you missed it. Tim was just saying that he, was, uh, he wasn't a good debater, unlike Tim, who is a masturbator. Yeah. <laughs> AJ, thank you for classing it up again. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you so much. Thank I'm a mass I'll be here all night. Third debate. <laughs> I'm a mass debate. With, that, ladies and with the flashlight. <laughs> in that, in that. Yep. Q power and, uh, that's, with the it's like raging bull. JJ will be like at the end of Raging Bull when uh Bobby De Niro turns into like a comedian. Mm. And he's talking, yeah, yeah. he's, he's, he's at like a comedy club with five people and he's just telling yeah. jokes. I had two IPA <laughs> beers 
in me. Ooh, I st- and I nice. still feel the buzz. And I, I'm still willing to debate him. Uh, it's like, I, I could have been like, oh, very nice, very clear. Oh, Riser, now's your chance. Yeah. What is this? This is like, I can't believe it. He cannot, guys, he what cannot show his thing? face on Archie's stream if he doesn't want to come here and debate me. What is this? Tim, TS, have you seen this? He's like afraid. This? Tim, Tim, he can't, he can't handle it. You know, he can't, your, your debating prowess is uh, legendary. Legendary. Yeah. yeah like, legendary. What? He's been baiting for years. Yeah. He's afraid, uh, he's afraid, uh, he's afraid, uh, he's afraid your Marco communism said. will rub off, will rub off on him. Like, I don't hey guys, get it. I'm this, not. Is this weird that I saved this little mini like shot from last night because it's this stuff is like pure gold? No, and it's so not I just weird. Kept, That's the way you do it. You is that the twelve? It and decant it. This is the this is the twelve. But it has been decanting yeah. for, for like twenty four hours now. It's nice. gonna say it's delicious. Shoot I just it kept it in there. I'm a, uh, I'll do it after show. After show. DC and LV. Tim does just yell over his debating foe. That is very true. That's you not very. It's not very true. That is very not wrong. True. That you is not wrong. Wrong. So I will say. I will say this. It took me one day to realize that. Okay, I need to speak up. And you know what happened? I speak up the next time. There you go. That's it. It's not that I scream. It's not that I yell over other people. Is that just other people? You do not do personal attacks. By the you, way, you, you, yeah, you're very good with your arguments. By the way, what? Mark, what? I'll give you guys an example, right? I I'll always you guys personally an example. attack Tim. I call him a moron every time we argue. Yeah, but you don't <laughs> say. I, I but, can't help it. It just comes out. But JJ, you, see you have the worst style of debating because you make arguments that we're not even making and then say that's what we say. But <laughs> JJ, <laughs> but JJ here's the thing. You, you, you call me, uh, you call me, what, what did you say? You know, like a moron or something. Okay, so you call me a moron, but you don't then say, hey, hey, can you please talk to me in respectful manner? Right? Like, no, I don't care if you curse. But that's me. what he did. You know, he did that. <laughs> he literally, like, I said, yo, that argument is is moronic. And he said, hey, hey, let's not use uh, like derogative language. And then he called me an idiot. Smells like, like what? money. You can't tell me not to call you an idiot and then complain that I'm co- like it. Man, right. man. The I'm, guy, I'm, like, I'm open for name calling. I don't care. Yeah, exactly. But the problem is, is that Tim is a skeptic of every source that isn't his also. So it's like, oh, no. well, show me where it says that. Oh, yeah, but can we trust his source? Where is his source? No, when you ask him to show me where it says that, he says that's <laughs> it's irrelevant. That's great. It's irrelevant. <laughs> What's great about this? You. That's that's you, trust him. you don't trust you know. him. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I trust I Tim's facts. sources. I'll you, put it to you that way. You know, yeah. you know Tim's uh, triggers. You know Tim's triggers, so it's it's fun, right? You just say Bill Gates is the most brilliant uh-huh. man on earth, and then uh, you know you just sit back and eat some popcorn and watch the watch the fun. Alex, what left in Tim without argument? Yeah. By the way, that, that was so funny. Tim started yelling at the guy. By the way, it was, <laughs> oh, it was so great. funny. Comedy gold. It was so it funny. Has to be- made available for Man, youtube so all I of wish it was for- recorded i'm telling you i gave the guy six hours of my time six hours of Please. my life i Fellow prepared rising. him to what it's going to be like it's going it's going to be a brutal beating it's just going to be i'm just going to bloody him <laughs> right and then he he got the taste of it he's like nah he backed up he said i'll teach you all about jesus christ and i said do it i want to hear it and where is he I want to That's know about this about. Jesus guy, right? That's what he said, Tommy, right? <laughs> yeah, he went. He and I started talking about religion for like four hours. Oh, really? I told him at the end that if he became a member, I would agree with him <laughs> and his religious <laughs> beliefs. <laughs> he said he would think about it. That's so cool, man. Look, Tommy is always looking out for me. This so Tommy is such a cool guy. We, we disagree on a lot of you. things, but it's so like we agree on having a nice debate. Right. What Talk. watch would what watch would Jesus wear? Ooh, Rolex. Patek Philippe. He's a winner. He's Patek a winner. Philippe. He wears Rolex. Fifty-one yeah. seventy. Yeah. That's the Jesus's watch. Can I just tell you? I think Tommy is very calculated. Nobody else I know could buy a pen and a Christmas ornament and walk out with a Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Don't he, forget the wallet. Don't forget the wallet. Oh, the wallet. Man. That's right. <laughs> my, my yeah, Tommy, yeah, Tommy's going places. Though. 
He knows exactly what he's saying. He knows what to do. Oh, shit. Hold on. I'll be right back. <laughs> Jesus wears a ming, somebody said. Ooh. <laughs> Tim, wish me luck. Hopefully, I thing. will, too. Oh, no, Alex hopefully, I will, too. Wish me luck, man. Wish us all luck. Hey, Paul, just who's remind me to go who's to going these... for the black. That's what I want to know. Honey yeah. pot all day. Tim, honey or black? Honey, uh, black. Honey. All the way. No, I'll tell you why. Well, you know, Tim's the, the contrarian honey? because the honey's going to be hard to get. So while everyone's fussing over that, Tim's going to swoop in and guarantee himself a black, right? Yes. Because uh, there's going to be only fifty honey flavored ones. Yeah, the and only one, uh, and only one. <laughs> so there's going to be fifty honey flavored, and one hundred and fifty black flavored uh, minks. So yeah. there's you know the higher chances. Like yes. How did you know the flavor? Did you lick them? Uh, I tried it. I tried it in the in the mouth, and uh, oh, with bourbon, I really it's like bourbon hard when you need to capture something. I tried it <laughs> in the mouth. Bourbon hard. Make a mental note. Get that one. <laughs> yeah, it's it's real honeycomb, right? So you can crack the crystal if you're out of like honey, and you yeah, can like emergency extra... camping, emergency hiking. <laughs> if you run out of food, you crack the crystal and lick the honey. The black one has a reflective edges. Mm -hmm. So in the in the in certain at the at certain angles in the sunlight, the black one the because the the top portions of the honeycomb is are polished, it's reflective. Let me actually show you guys. Uh, Ming. Yeah, the black one looks nicer we're, than the honeycomb. We're gonna go for the Ming, and then let me show you. See this? K Casey's gonna go for the Corona. Look, you see the <laughs> the yellow one. Although it's good when you look at the close up. Which you see, you look at the close up, it looks good. But you look at in the dark, look at that. Mm. Look it's at beautiful. the reflection. Oh, it's beautiful. What, where are the numbers on these? Can you explain to me? What do they paint them on the dial? Uh, on, I the, mean, on the glass? On the sapphire, on the inside of the sapphire. Mm. They cut, they, they did a cutout and filled it with luminescent. I don't know. How what's, in the, um, what's in the nine o'clock position? Like, what is that? Instead nine of the nine, what? Yeah. Well, oh, well, it's the collaboration. That's the Masa Lab uh, brand. Oh, right it's the so, lab, it says. Yeah. Messina. So there's a problem. There's a problem here. What if you crack the crystal? They'll sell you a new one. Yep. I hope For so. Five thousand so. dollars. Be yeah. Exactly. Exactly. JJ. That's the problem. Just don't, Jesus don't crack it. Watch. No need for waterproof. Exactly. Fifty-one seventy. On per water. Perfect. That's Jesus watch. What does Judas wear, by the way? What do you think? Jacob and Co. No, no, no. You know what, you, you know what Judas wears? A Zeitwerk. A Squally. Boom! <laughs> Zeitwerk. <laughs> yeah, what's that, what's that um, brand? Judas wears that. Uh, what's the biggest Rolex knockoff brand of the sub? Uh, Steinhardt. 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 Yeah, Steinhardt. Steinhardt. Yeah, one of them. Yep. Yep. Uh, Billy, pick up Tim. What happens when the crystal breaks? A, the in. The in the crystal has the time workers. If you break the crystal, you watch is no good. Going to be impossible to get the new crystal. Yeah, it's a yeah. ticking time bomb. This watch, you have to sell it before you crack the crystal. You sell it, you get in, you get out. You you make your good 5x profit on it, and you're out. And let the let the next guy crack the crystal. Wow. That's kind of rare to crack a crystal, though. How many crack crystals can a crystal crack of crack? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> the beaver How many crystals How can many a crack crystals... crack? <laughs> can a cracker jack crack crack if he didn't have to crack crystals? Crack I've never, has anyone, has anyone on the panel crack cracked a crystal? crystal? I've had watches over 20 years. I've never cracked a crystal. Me neither. Case, case closed. Not even a hairline crack, scratch, nothing. No, I think we'll crack the case on this watch. Especially a dress watch. <laughs> what the hell are you going to do? Run into a dinner plate? Mm. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> mm. 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 But it's still a reality that you could break it and, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah. Other thing, you know, not just right. Let's say anything goes wrong. Control. Um, how do you service a Ming? I guess that's the question. You send it back oh, to Ming. It's a bullshit movement. You can get the service anyway. Right. Yeah. That's true. You're right. You're right. It's beyond shitter movement. I got to tell you, though, the design has. Yeah, I mean, you? Got you it's kind of unique. Mark, yes. 
Ten thirty, time for bed. <laughs> <laughs> here's your teddy. Here's your teddy bear, and he can, then he can hear everything. Marco wants to be tucked your, in. He wants to be I tucked in. I have your warm milk with a cinnamon stick. Yeah, <laughs> I just put your new sports football sheets on the bed. <laughs> Where are my and here's your here's your Superman under ruse. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Carl. Bye, Carl. Oh, I heard it. <laughs> Margo, do you have my favorite bed sheets on right now? The reserve ones or the regular ones? No, no, those are flannel. Those are for the winter, man. Oh, the one with the, with the football and the soccer ball on it. I love those. Fuck off, JJ. Come on, man, what is this? I like those. I used to have those when I was nine. I swear. <laughs> hey, fuck off. <laughs> Listen, I'm cheap. I don't want to buy myself new ones. <laughs> Only Rolex. He's saving for another Rolex. Like, oh, guys, no, no, now it's a Breguet. Now he's moved up to Breguet. VC, VC. By the time you get to Breguet, Marco, you have spruced it to where it's going to be over retail. <laughs> wow. I'm not that worried. So, Marco, which one are you going to go for? The honey uh, flavor or the black flavor? Tim, I'm broke as pocus. So, uh, <laughs> Marco, Marco, go sit for on one. the sideline. Marco, go for it. I'll give you the money and we'll split the profit. I mean, uh, we'll split the watch. I'll give you the money. <laughs> oh, that is good. Marco, imagine we all get these Mings and then uh and then you get Ming on. You you get him on like uh, to do a live yeah, stream. Yeah, I spoke with him on Instagram today. What, what did he say? What did he say? Yeah, he's a really cool guy. No, no, listen, he just said like listen, I'm really busy right now. Obviously, with COVID, I have a lot of uh, employees trapped overseas. So, like, there's a lot of, uh, like, do-it-yourself work. Like, there's a – it's very hands-on at the moment, you know. Uh -huh. So, um, you can't really do an interview right now. But he said definitely in the future. And then he mm -hmm. said, if I want, I can always email him questions to his email. So, did, did you cool ask him, did, very, did you very ask cool. him? Did you ask him for a job? That was like an opening right there. Yeah. Come on. Oh, yes, contact. Ask him if he would uh, jump onto the show. That's the worst way to ask for show. a job, guys. He just By offered. Instagram DMs. Let me send you my CV. Hmm. You should have said, you know who you're okay. speaking with. This is a two chains Bruce Wayne coming at you live. <laughs> oh, that'll totally do it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Totally impressive. Exactly. Sending the link of uh, the live stream of Mr. GMG placing like four hundred. Exactly. Oh yeah, Mr. G yeah. place. Yeah, that's yeah. really good. Yeah, link. if you if you go to Messina Lab, you might uh, you'll see more uh, detail. I'm not even sure what is Messina Lab. It's just uh, this um, collab. Basically, I think he's a good friend of uh, Hodinki. Mm -hmm. if I'm not wrong. Hodinki? Messina. Hodinki. I think Mas William Hodinki? Messina. Hodinki? Yeah, the collab. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, he makes these clocks that look like uh, what the hell is this? <gasps> twenty-seven thousand. Hey, what are you out of your mind? Oh my god! You got Rolex. <laughs> what the fuck? Rolex in the house. You say you know MBNF? Man, I'm I'm wrapping up. What's going on? Wow. Where's so... fellow riser? Fellow riser, come on, the show is sinking. He is weak. Fellow riser didn't of... rise to the you're challenge. You're making you're making us Republicans look bad, man. Come on. It's, oh, yeah, exactly. He makes the Republicans look like snowflakes. Oh, he's making them look all like all. He's making, he's, ma he's making all the Republicans look like those leftists who don't want to debate right wingers. Come on, exactly. Drop the link for Lulek. I did. I did. He did. He did. Oh, okay. My computer's not showing you. I love Marco's reaction to every price. It doesn't matter what it is. Like Marco, I just bought a Snickers bar in the candy store. How much was it? Like me. <laughs> it's dollar fifty. Ooh, dollar fifty. It's one dollar here. Oh, it's a collaboration with MBNF. Okay, that makes sense. Man, like I want to do collaborations. Why don't Why don't they Why didn't Ming guy call me and say, "Hey, Tim Wright, I want a collaboration. What do you How do you want me to make this watch for you?" And I'll tell him exactly. I want. I don't know. I'll tell him exactly. I'll tell him exactly, but you don't, you don't know. know what you want. Nice. Hey, low legs. Where you at? What up, fellas? I'm running downstairs to grab something. What's going on? Hey, we were just talking about these collaborations, and why won't brands want to collaborate with me? Am I toxic sludge? <laughs> Maybe it's all the Ming talk. Mm, it's the <laughs> Ming. It's the Ming. The Mings, dude. They're screwing you over, boy. 
but I don't understand. Like I'm, I'm completely harmless. I don't know why. Did you hear about that that fellow riser? He didn't rise to the challenge. No, I didn't hear about that. What happened? Well, the guy called me weak, called me all kinds of names, and when oh, I told him, oh, okay, I heard. You. Yeah, I heard. Come you on the show and problem. debate me. He said, with all due respect. Lightning. What the what? Don't <laughs> say with all due respect and then disrespect me like that by not showing up. You're, You're showing wasting me. your time, Tim. He's, He's a coward, true. right? Winger. Is that what he said? He's Winger. a coward. Yeah. If you don't answer the question, a You're a coward. Right. Yeah, he's Hold a on, chicken. Guys. It's loud out here. Hold on, guys. I yeah, want everyone to drag him through through all kinds of dirt when uh, when he's on RG show. I don't. I want him to not have. He doesn't go on Archie's show. He's just it, in the comments section. In the comments section, yeah. I want you guys to smart, drag him. Smart man. Is he? Come on. <laughs> drag him in the what? You can't say that. That's not nice. What do you mean? Why is he? He wasted my time. He wasted eight, six hours of my life. Do you understand that? I can't. No, it was a productive back. conversation, Ari. Uh, I was, was trying to monetize. He's <laughs> got a cock. <laughs> the rooster. Oh, bark, bark, bark. did we just What's see up, Lolix's choking cock? Choking the chicken? Rooster. Choking the chicken. <laughs> you're asking what I was doing. You, was doing you always got to be careful, right? When someone starts a conversation with, with all due respect, it's going to yeah. go like downhill. Right. It's going to go one disrespect. way or another. You're an, with all due respect, you're an effing asshole, you know? <laughs> with all due respect. But you said it with all due respect. Yeah. So you're, and when you're you okay. start with, can I be honest? Exactly. No, no. Really hold on, hold yeah. on. Toyota, oh, Toyota. Yeah. That's not bullying. He was I, when I was on the live show. He was calling me all kinds of names. He was calling me out. He was saying you're a socialist scum. Well, Tim, let's not Debate let's not me. go there because you were also was calling really? him names. To be fair, there was chicken shit. There was a lot of right. yeah. Well, because he he calling, it was it was a back and forth ad hominem fest. Yeah. yeah. So we were both calling each other. Yeah. But then he bet he said he was coming. Yeah, it was yesterday, right? Was it yeah, yesterday? You can't be that if you, no, if that you was say you're before. coming, the only thing we have to live by is our word in this world. You know what I mean? And if your world word is shot to shit, I don't got respect for you. So fellow riser, you gotta earn that respect by coming on the Tim Wright show. He gave earn me back a promise. that respect. He promised to come on the show. Right. I spent Tommy, six hours with to him come on the show? preparing him for you mean the first day, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I prepared him. I vetted him. But what if he realized that it doesn't make any sense to talk to you because you have no point? That's well, a valid then, point. You know what? <laughs> then the public will agree. We're, we're, we're not yeah, going to convince each other. I'm just saying, I want right? a pay per view style event. JJ. Come on. Why are you saying I want a pay per view style Robo Dope Ali versus Frazier or some, something he's like not, that? Well, he's not going to change my Summer mind. Slam. We're Summer just there to have, a, to have a conversation. Well, I don't see a. Uh, how that can cannot be productive, you know. We're just doing a show. It's not for us. It's not for me. It's not for him. It's for the viewers, right? <laughs> it got intense pretty quick. Uh, gotta, Nate, you though, Tim, do you have a wife anymore? <laughs> That's right. Yes, I do. That's why I have to wrap this up. Uh, you know what? Let's do seven more minutes. We'll do it at two hours exactly. Cool. Okay. Cool. Cool. Come on, fellow. Yeah, I just wanted to. Seven to I just thought maybe he'll appear again. Like, what? How pathetic is that? You can have rules though set up, right? Like round one, you have a bell, like ding, ding, ding. You have gotta have yeah. topics, Tim. It's just gonna be a the, fight the, debate. The kangaroo kangaroo topic, topic. Whatever he wants. I don't want. Like, I don't uh, want to set up topics is, because maybe Tim he's not gonna moderator. be comfortable with. Tim is also the moderator. It's gotta be in a neutral event. Oh right? yeah, he was. Hey, live. Because Tim can mute him. Because Tim muted him. Like, he resorted to dirty. Yeah, that's, I wasn't like answering questions. Like, Tim's rules. If it's, it's, my show. Show. it's my show. It's my show. Did we do a wristwatch hey. check, guys? Did we do hey. a wristwatch check yet? Sabi? No. Shame, Bruce Wayne. Ooh, did Lolix get me watch? Not yet, not yet. I'm only... It's crazy. I'm only down to one now. I feel oh, so all of, all, Most of us have subs. Oh. Crazy. JJ, JJ, nice, man. JJ, what's, what's up, that? Down again? Tuna. I didn't even see you were here, man. Good to see you, bud. All right, good, thank you. Let me put it full Shuna. screen. Not, nice. not everybody seen this one. Oh, oh nice. wow! The great white, the great I white. I like that better than the bond, to be honest. You got the case back. You got the case back, JJ. What? Say this again, Marco. What? I think I prefer that to the 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 bond. You get the you get the case back and steel steel sports. And, and half the mean? price. Don't don't forget half the price. 
Yeah. <laughs> and half the mm. price. So why would you keep the, the bond instead and of you, it? And you get a ceramic bezel instead of an aluminum bezel. And you exactly. get a date function. Exactly. What more do you so want? JJ, I would keep that over the bond. JJ, have you gotten the, uh, the bracelet for the James Bond yet? or? No, I'm still waiting. They got me one that was tremendous. I don't understand. Are there more How than long one? does it take? <laughs> what do you mean by tremendous? It was too long? Too big? Bend over. I'll tell you exactly what I mean. <laughs> No, no, he did mew me a couple of times. There's a big difference. <laughs> no, the um, Tim, when I put it on the last hole, uh, it was still too big. Like that's how long the, it was. I don't know if he got like an extra, extra large bracelet or how it works, but I mean, you know, you have the same size wrist as me. We have pretty much almost a seven inch wrist, seven inch wrist somewhere in that area. Um, it should at least fit in the middle somewhere. It, I was on the last one, and it was still like I could put my finger in there. Mm. Relax, it's GG. Just being, hard over here. It's let me being just handmade by an artisan. <laughs> guys, let me just really quickly explain. Well, like, I'm drinking something. You made me choke just now. <laughs> Toyota Mo. I had to because there was three people. There was four people just screaming at the top of each other. They were like three of them were screaming at me. So I was like, "Hey, guys, one at the time." So. That's not, how I, I That's not <laughs> I how I remember it. That's not how I remember it. That's not how I remember it. Well, it was more like, look, you're not answering the question. Oh, no, no. To him, answer answer the answer was the question. question. I answered his question, and then he started reinter like changing my stuff. I just said, no, no, he was giving I gave an answer. Him, it just wasn't the I answer gave him a wanted. yes or no answer, <laughs> and he started whinging. So I was like, Tim, well, if all, you're all wasting my time. I thought it was wasting my Look. Marco, the thing is, I was doing it for free. It wasn't live, right? So I'm not getting paid to do the show. He won't answer my question. So why am I wasting my time? He came to debate me, and I asked him a question, and he won't answer. Time is one, money, and one, therefore time have certain is topics, and you both get a certain amount of time to speak on each topic. I, I, I like look, that it's idea. Whatever topics he wants to talk about. Like, you know, it's just, well, I, don't, I don't care. I'll talk about anything. I'll talk about anything. If he wants to, whatever he, I told him, whatever you want to talk about, I'm here, I'm ready. But politely, he has to decline. <laughs> With oh, all due respect. Man, all these. Marco, do you want to do a live debate with me someday? Like, no, 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 Yes, yes. But but I, I, I was told, like, hey, keep it after the two hours. So, like, right now we got, we got to the two-hour point, and... And I was told like, yeah, do do the uh, watch talk and then at the end do the do the debate. So, <laughs> Tim, do you remember the first uh, political argument we got into off air and Mister Two was watching us in shock and he was like, "All right, I gotta go, guys." That was like when we first. <laughs> <watched. laughs> He's like, Woo! Like, this, this is too spicy. This is too spicy. I need yeah. to. I need that, to grab some water. Big, he had the big Russian hat. Remember the furry hat he was wearing? Oh yes. That was fun. <laughs> it was so good. It JJ, so you good. know the UFC fighter Colby Covington? Yeah. He has the same data as you, but he has the, the diamond bezel on it. I don't know how to about it. Yeah, I don't know the bezel. You mean, I like him. He's Roman numeral day date? Yeah, he's got the exact same silver dial. It's probably a bust down. He probably put it on after. Yeah. Maybe. But I'd rather have JJ's watch. Smart. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> I think it's like an extra twenty five thousand just for the bezel. You want to go with the factory one? It's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's like a girl's name mm -hmm. with the diamonds. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Has that even that hasn't even been in style in like twenty years doing that? I just don't. Yeah. Tom, Tom, if you ever run into by Kobe the way, I, I wouldn't say that. This is a pretty <laughs> accurate summary. Uh, basically, Tommy from Tommy. Basically, Tim and him were talking, but uh, talking, and somehow it became Tim saying, "Do you want to live in a place where papers are checked before healthcare is given?" So, like, that was the question. Like, he was talking about the, uh, and I, and so I asked him, like, "Do you want that before people get healthcare, that they check your papers?" And he said, uh, "This doesn't happen." This, this, this. I was just asking, like, "Hey." That's the question. Don't 
tried to reformulate it and he wouldn't answer he wouldn't answer and i said you motherfucker you wasted my time and you <laughs> got loud <laughs> yeah it was like because i was really annoyed this is f like, we're doing it off air right like i i find it very disrespectful right i i gave him my time and it was just you me him and marco we're just talking we're just talking there's no re he's in a perfectly safe space Three of you guys agree. A simple question. He wouldn't answer. Wouldn't answer the question. I thought that I I felt super disrespect. Uh. So yeah. Firmo, I, I remember one time JJ and Tim got. Up there. Sorry, Toyota Mo. I remember one time JJ and Tim got into uh, into it on AC3 show. Tim asked for source. JJ said, "Go <laughs> Google it." <laughs> <laughs> that, that sounds accurate. Nice. The two <laughs> books enough. conversation was hilarious too. <laughs> Man, <laughs> these nuts. things get really spicy. Uh, I really, I really, I really like it. Uh, I like, I like, I like talking to Lolix also because Lolix has no idea what's going on in politics. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm really <laughs> right now about Ari's date just right now. Mm, <laughs> Ari, show us your date just. Yeah, sure. I want to see the bezel. Sure. The bezel. The bezel. I want to see the scratch if there's scratches on it. One second, one second. I'm gonna put you full screen. Dude, it looks pretty go. clean. Didn't you say you were daily driving this for a while? Absolutely. There are scratches there. You can see. Oh, there. you can see. Yeah. I yeah, see. There. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'd have to get it. Uh, um, I'd have to get it buffed out. But you know what? I was daily driving it, and it's not bad. Like you have to actually look at it at an angle to see it. Looks so pretty clean to me. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Toyota Mo, $5 yeah. super chats. Oh, Marco, God. Tommy, who won the debate? No sugar coating. You have to pick a winner. I, I, I'll tell you. Can I, I'll Where start first. Yes, I don't want to lose a friend. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. I'll start first. I'll it say I lost the debate because I wasted like six hours of my life and the guy didn't show up for the, for the, for the live oh, debate. So I say I'm, I'm the loser of that debate. Marco went to sleep like in the middle. Total winner. Oh, no. I think when you Mark muted me the winner. second time, I said, fight yeah. this. He said he's not yeah, asking exactly. Tim. Read the comments. He said, no, no, not asking Tim. No, no, no. Okay, so I just, I gave my perspective. I'm giving value. And then Marco and Tom, sorry. Tim, with all due respect, you know I love you, buddy. But you were getting schooled. <laughs> you were getting schooled. Uh, Tim was running lots so, running. so why won't he come and Bobby, debate me? Bobby, you know, you know you're losing the debate, JJ. You know you're losing the debate when you're the moderator of it and you gotta start muting the other people. <laughs> Tommy, well, come on, answer the question. Toyota Mo paid big bucks. And Tommy and Tommy. Okay. Um. Well, I kind of debate like um at school. So what you were doing would have automatically lost the debate, like getting loud, cursing, right, you know, things right. like that. But exactly. on just on the logic of what you said, I would have to agree more with what the other guy was saying, but that's just because I agree with what he was saying. Okay, right. so who do you pick? I would I guess I would have to pick fellow. Exactly. So fellow what riser. Is he, why is he so afraid? fellow riser? Why are you yeah. afraid, man? Come on. Maybe it's, not. Maybe it's like no when Mike Tyson sense. fights like a bum who never wins a fight and he said, I don't need to fight this guy anymore. It's too uh, too easy. Too easy. It's too easy. I'm just, I'm just asking. These are yeah. scenarios that could be going through his head. Hey, hey. Tim, I, I don't know how you feel. I, actually, you know what? I don't even want to ask this question because people are going to get no, no, Never mind. Oh, and my wife reminds me that <laughs> I have to hike tomorrow early in the morning. Exactly. So that's why I'm wrapping it up. That's why I'm wrapping well, it up. It hey, we had to answer the super chat. Uh, Tim is disqualified. No, I, I feel like uh, it's not like. I don't see these debates as winning or losing. I see them as, you know, exchanges. And he comes onto my show and I'm doing it for free and then he will not answer my question. I feel like, uh, you know, I feel like he's way, like, why, why am I here for, why, why am I debating him if he doesn't want to answer the show? Answer my questions, you know? It's one thing if we come to a neutral place or whatever, right? Uh, but yeah, you come, uh, you come onto my show, you have to answer the question. Like, I'll answer any question you have. I don't understand. Uh, I, I, but obviously, everybody is like, Oh, you're not supposed to get loud or whatever. Although, he was calling me names as well. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know <laughs> if that do, uh, do you remember the Trump Biden debate not too long ago? Oh, I don't remember. I don't remember anything. I do. I mean, they were loud in that debate, and they were like cursing, yeah. practically cursing each other out. The first uh, one, yeah. The first, 
It was yeah. terrible. You know my yeah. favorite? So it third debate awful. with Biden for, or with uh, Hillary versus Trump. You remember the third debate? And then he's, yeah. and then Trump le- leaves that line because you'd be in jail. <laughs> yeah, that was the funniest line I've ever heard in the debate. I, was like, I don't see how US getting loud is a uh, disqualifier of how it even counts. Talking you know, you're not allowed not debating. Right. What? You enter, you enter it to UFC. It's like right UFC right without without punching or that's, kicking. That's not debating. No, it's that's nothing like that. That's well, it's not a debate. Well, we're not we were not having See, a debate. We're right having now, a sir, discussion. Not letting me finish my answer, talking over me. That's that's not debating. Well, debating. yeah, because we're not debating. We're just talking. No, no, I'm just saying. But that's how you lose. Debating is like. I make a point and you make a counterpoint and show me where I'm wrong. But, but what if I make now. a point and you well, say that you're talking now? I talk over you and I don't let you finish. That kind of ruins the debate. We're not debating, so that doesn't ruin anything. So the next time Fellow Riser comes on, we'll get our chronos out and then we'll time one minute each to present the arguments and then we just go in rounds and no boring. one is so boring. Mm-hmm. So you'll need about ten minutes I mean, each question. Don't one minute. Are you kidding me? guys would be debating for four hours six hours six hours <laughs> yeah. Yeah. six hours of value value it's who goes to sleep first loses <laughs> <laughs> pretty much pretty Tim much he shuts down the other guy all right you gotta wrap it up yeah okay, <laughs> he's a, like he's going into an antidote yeah. hey guys thank you for watching thank you reg lolix ts thank you for showing us uh your watch coming on to the live show Thank you, JJ Lacoot, Captain, Hello. JV Ming, Casey, Tommy. We had a lot of people today. I don't even remember who else was, was on. And But anyways, thank everybody who who watched the show. And uh, yeah, I want to see that fellow riser. Rise to the challenge, baby. Get it all locked up.